Hello there, my name is Kuma, and today we are doing something very serious. We are deciding who has the best legs in Arknights. I hope you enjoy. I have here all the operators released. They have some repeats here with the altars, but probably not gonna make a distinction between the altars and the normal wops, except for the three stars. Because here's something very important that we have to do here. First, we will put everybody who is a kid in a separate place. We will even separate them even more. Nobody gets close to that. We'll see some others, but we start like this. Uh, now, start by telling me this. Is Vanilla a kid? <laughs> Is Vanilla a kid? Or, sh or should we look at Vanilla art? Are we gonna rank based on what? Based on our taste. And our... Cultured mind. I think Vanilla is not a kid. I'm not so sure though. But she could be the first one. Vanilla, pretty basic. Doesn't have anything special going on for her. She does wear this nice skirt here. That kind of hides her legs a little bit. It looks like she has some shape to that to that body of hers. So, I think we just begin by putting Vanilla like here. Here sounds nice, right? I thought this was going to be a gameplay tier list. Turned out to be a leg tier list, lol. <laughs> Hi, hi Gustavo. Gameplay tier list? Why would we do that? We should put some funny names for these tiers later. For now, let's just see. That's good enough. Let's see. Do you think Spot has any chance? Like, those look very, like very limpy legs to me. I think even if you take into consideration what the boy lovers would think, I think Spot would take a, would not be a very high, right? I don't think he even has muscle. He has to be very low on our list. So no way. Spot goes there. Plumino has a skin. We gotta look at both the base art and the skin. A Plumino's legs in her base art are just two little... You know, two little straws. She has another art. Although this doesn't change much. Like, okay, she's pretty and all. She has her jean... jean her jean clothes on. But her legs don't look that much better, right? She's here doing some press, some bench presses and stuff. I don't know how do you call those things. I don't go to the gym. But where's her muscle? No, no, no. That's not a good leg. I think Plum stays here together with Spot. Now, Midnight has a little bit of a advantage because he's a tall guy, right? What about his skin? Hmm, we can't see much. Those are some stronger legs than nothing. Like, this is better than nothing. But he's not showing much. He's not just putting in the, the those muscles, they are not just exploding everything, you know? This is better than nothing. It, he doesn't have the worst legs, but they're not good enough. I think our boy Midnight is gonna stay with Vanilla. It's, it's nice, it's not that bad, but it's not great. Now, what uh, what do we say about our boy Ansel? We don't have anything to look at in the base art. Like, he shows his knees, that's about it. Three stars like matters. Yes, what we have to go through mostly is his summer skin. Those are some pretty legs though, they're very clean. What about the, the Banui skin? I like those baggy pants like this. And it's not very baggy pants. But it doesn't really show much of his legs here. Yeah, let's just leave him with the others. Now, Orchid. Orchid is a league above the others. Orchid has some special legs. Because not only do you have those nice, this nice design on her skirt just giving an up and up on her legs, but also you have her skin, which just brings it over the top. Now, for now, 
I would, I would even go as far as saying Orchid deserves to be here in double S for now. If we find that she needs to be down, we will bring her down later. Now, what do we do about the reserve ops? We don't have much to go for the reserve ops. We're gonna quickly look at them. So, the Vanguard. You can't even look at his, his legs. Look how baggy those pants are. And those pants aren't even baggy. This guy clearly doesn't have any legs. This guy skipped every leg day he went to the, to the gym. The, the Vanguard? No. Vanguard doesn't have anything going for him. Reserve Sniper. I think he's the exact same situation. He just has sticks for his legs. It, those pants shouldn't be baggy like this. If you have any leg, those, those, those pants should be just sticking to your legs and just holding them in. Struggling to hold. You also go there. Now, let's see the Medic. Look. The medic is showing the, their legs, but they are sticks as well. This is this is just like Ansel legs. If Ansel does, didn't have had only like half of the meat in in those legs, the reserve caster. Now look at that. Reserve caster has a little bit more, little bit more substance in those legs. It's not a lot. Is this enough to bring the caster recruit? One. One tier up? I would say the caster deserves to be together with like vanilla midnight. I think this is a little bit more than the others. The caster has a little bit more substance. Those legs deserve to be one tier up. Reserve defender. Now, tell me that those don't look like some chunky legs now. Yeah, those are big. <laughs> Those are solid day. He never skipped leg day. That's some strong legs right there. He might not be doing any sex appeal, but he knows he needs that strength. He gotta hold that shield, you know? Reserve Defender definitely blows all the others out of the water. Let's go for the two stars. We're gonna get to the more meaty stuff later. Durin. Now, even though Durin is a very, very short stack. You gotta respect what she's got going on. It's not much, but it's honest work, you know? <laughs> Durin isn't a minor? No, Durin is not a kid. Durin is an adult. I think Durin deserves, deserves some appreciation for those legs. Durin has some juice going on, but I don't think it's enough to compete with our defender guy. I think she's gonna stay here for now. As we all know, Yato got a big glow up. From her base art, which she basically had two sticks for legs, which now in her art, he has some meat in those thighs, okay? <laughs> we're, we're gonna rank them together. I don't think it makes any sense to just rank Yato in two different, because Yato is the same character. So let's just talk about Yato's legs. I would think, I would think Yato's legs are good enough to compete with Defender Guy. Look at that. Yeah, those are some nice ties. She deserves to be together with our defender guy, at the very least. Those are two sticks. He goes to the bottom tier. 12F didn't even try. Just stay in the stay in the bottom, Mr. 12F. We can't even see Grand Stranger's legs. All we have to go for is his feet, which was, we were not talking about his feet. We can't see his legs. This is bottom of the list. There you go. Look. Norbez Art has some nice legs. Look, he's tall again. This is this competes already with Midnight. This is already good enough to compete with Midnight. He has some shape, he has some style, he has the height. Very, very nice legs. He's just hiding his alpha thick meat. Probably we'll never know. What about the outer? Now, when he wears the the Hatalos armor. We have a little bit more look into his shape. Look at that. Look at that armor just clinging into his leg with all it has. I don't think this is good enough, but it's definitely respectable. Noir, I don't think Noir got it to be together with his girlfriend, but he definitely has enough to be here. We have nothing to say about the cats. Those are, those are just stick legs. Look at that. Look at those cat legs. I'm sorry, you're bottom of the list as well. <laughs> 
Don't you guys love you official? Does she have enough to be in the top of our list though? I think she has some shape. But I think most of what we have here is because of the position. I don't think that her legs are that incredible. They're enough to not be at the bottom. <laughs> there you go. Let's put her together with Noir and the others. Hmm. We can go through the, the robots fairly quickly, right? There's not much for us to see. Because they don't have any legs. <laughs> like what? We're gonna rank them based on the wheels now? I don't think they have anything going on for them. We can't rank them. Hmm. <laughs> also... Let's be honest, all the robots are kids. They all have like two years uh, of age or something like that. We can't talk about that. <laughs> because we just talk about the robots. And who loves the robots more than the next? So let's appreciate her a little bit. Because I think we all know that Ilnex is a, is, is a top of the list. Now, the question is, is does Ilnex deserve to be at the top of the top? Is Ilnex, does Ilnex have... Enough to be the best legs in Arcanite. We have this rear sight as well. If you guys would appreciate a little bit of that. Look at that tie. Look at that red, right tie right there. This is good stuff. This is amazing. We can always bump her down if we see that the competition is too fierce. But for now, there's no way. She just stays at the top as the lone survival for now. Hmm. Bison, Bison, Bison. He doesn't have much going on for him. I don't think Bison is a kid because he he worked alone a, a lot. Like he is in that situation of like 19 years old where you don't know what to do with your life and your parents are helping. I don't think he's a kid. Doesn't seem like an adult. Well, people people say that Durin doesn't seem like an adult. He's definitely an adult, but he can stay at the bottom because. He, he just has sticks for legs. I know Scavenger has a lot of fans. And it's definitely not because of this Ezero art. Because look at that. What with those sticks, Scavenger? Each art is also a bunch of sticks. I knew that she had some legs showing, but... I didn't know this was so bad. Now, her skin definitely gave her a glow up. Look at those strong legs now. If she... If the design of Ark Knights would allow for girls to have some muscular, some muscle showing on her clothes, this calf definitely would have some big muscles here. She has enough to be here, together with Fiato and the Defender guy. I don't think she still has enough to go compete with Orchid. Swire got lucky that she got an altar because her base legs are not that impressive. Look at it. Like she has sticks for legs. Now look at the difference. Look at what this girl got! How can this be the same character? Not as good as the Zero Art, but still got those that nice shape, that nice meat going on. Which art? It's definitely enough to bring Swire together with Orchid in double S for now. Mostima. Those are some stick for legs, girl. If, if Mosima doesn't get anything better, I'll happily put you in the bottom tier, because this, this is not it. This doesn't have anything going on for her. Let's rename this. There you go. That's the first renaming of the day. Sticks for legs. <laughs> that is definitely better than Mosima, right? Those are not sticks. They have some shape. It's not great, but it's at least viable, let's put it like that. You could walk with those legs, you wouldn't just fall on the ground all the time. Jail enough to climb to A, but it doesn't get much farther than that. Hmm... Mur. Those are better than I remember, but those are not good legs. Her skin gave her some tie. It's not much, but it's honest work. I think Mur just barely got enough to run away from the sticks as well. The skin saved Mur from the bottom of the barrel. Exector also has that advantage that he's kinda tall, so his legs already look a little bit better. Both those legs are definitely sticks. He didn't hit the gin, he didn't eat enough food, he just ran around and forgot to, to keep track of his muscles. Saria. <laughs> what the? What is this? 
What are those ankles? This is definitely sticks for legs. I thought she was supposed to be a strong woman, but all I see here is a pair of sticks. I thought you had better than this, but you're definitely a stick for legs. Gremlin, Warfarin, you are a very skinny girl, Warfarin, and your legs show it, because this, this is trying to compete with the reserve medic. Warfarin is trying her hardest to stay at the bottom of the list. Let's see the, the other art. What we have to decide here is if this is enough to bring her out of sticks. I don't know. Skin saved her from B. Summer skin makes her an A, I would say. It's barely, because it's definitely better than... Than, uh, than all of these ops here in the sticks for legs. It just has that... It just has that little bit to bring her out. So just stay in A. Matterhorn has some legs. He might not look like it in his zero art. He definitely has more shape than a lot of these sticks. Now, look at that skin though. He decided to show his muscles. Those are some muscles, alright? He has absolutely no fat on those legs. Matterhorn definitely deserves to be a little bit that. <laughs> because even though those legs are super good, he just doesn't have the show. The next one, Texas. Another character with an outer. Texas got sticks for her legs just as thick as her sword. Look at that. We, we crowned a new term here in chat today. We now... We now believe in the stick with double C. <laughs> I'm even... I'm even gonna change this. Now it's sticks for legs. I don't think she's worse than most of But they are just as bad. Stay in the bottom. Edge. Mmm, that is your art doesn't give us anything. She's doing some nice, some nice tomboy pose here, but it doesn't change the fact that her legs got, didn't get any bigger. Like, this tie here is the only thing we have. Look at the lower half of her legs. It's nothing. It competes with the reserve medic. Nah, man. She stays in sticks. Warfarin is the gatekeeper. If you can't get past Warfarin, you don't deserve to be in A. Lapland. Her legs are just sticks. <laughs> it doesn't get much better here. This this doesn't beat Warfarin at all. What about her skin? It got worse. She forgot how to eat between her two art and her skin. <laughs> Lapi got nothing. Stay at the bottom, my girl. What do you guys think of our spirit? Our spirit can doesn't even show her legs on her zero art. But her Ichu art has some tie going on. And she doesn't even lose on the bottom side of her legs. This is not a stick. No, 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 no. This is definitely not a stick. This is enough to go, to go above and beyond. She's definitely at A. Let's just leave Warfarin at the bottom, because she's the gatekeeper. So when we get to Grey, we'll put him in Kid. Let's just look at Grey Outer. Those are sticks for legs right off the bat. And he's even trying to hide it. It looks like he has some muscle right here. Look at that curve. He tries to make a bend right there. But I, I think it's not enough. This is a stick. What about the true art? No, no, no. Look at this. Look at this curve here on his thigh. It looks like he was really hiding his, his legs on his, uh, on his E1 art. Because that's much better. That has shape. Those are not just bent straws. That shape on that band, it's all that you have, Gray. Take care of that band. <laughs> you go to A tier. This is a character that people have been waiting for. Shiny. She doesn't have anything in her zero art. Look, in her H2 art, he definitely has no legs at all. Those are sticks, okay? Those are sticks. But we know. We know what we people are waiting for. We know why people are saying that Shiny is triple S. We know why everyone's saying she's got tears because of her skin. Look at those beautiful, beautiful ties. That's where she's at. <laughs> That's definitely some good legs. Oh boy. She definitely has the shape. Hmm. To be triple S? Sure. Yes, it's enough. She can be in triple S. Shining tier. It's the one and the only 
Platinum herself. Do you guys think Platinum has any chance? It's in her name. Oh, wait. The, the toolbox actually doesn't allow me to search for Platinum. Look at that. Those are the so-called bendy straws, as we learned to call them today. Even in her skin, she doesn't have enough to climb. She tried. She definitely tried. Stay in the sticks, Platinum. Now, next on our list is Verdant. Verdant actually giving us something to work with. That is, that has some shape to it. Look at that muscle. We're gonna have to look at the two art. The two art is gonna, is gonna have to help us out here. Nah. Verdant definitely has some shape on those muscles. It's not good, but it's honest work. Definitely. He definitely has what it takes to be in the A tier. Should we call this something else? I think at this point we can call this like... Some shape is always nice. What do you guys think? You guys think that's a nice name for, uh, for our A tier? Up until now, everyone that is getting out of this thick tier is mostly because they have some shape. Meteorite. Now, off the bat, she got some thickness going on. Look at those ties. Look at that big zoom. Getting rid of all the quality on the art. <laughs> now, Harry True Art helps a lot, definitely. Because look at it. Her bottom part, the bottom side of her legs got a little bit more shape here on the True Art. Those ties are very thick. She's gonna lose her legs probably if she doesn't get some, some bigger leggings, some bigger socks. That's definitely thick. She's got meat, but it's on tilts. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's harsh. Like, the bottom part of her legs got some shape here, but it's still very, very unbalanced. She got those nice ties and all, but look at the, look at the competition. You got the, the Reserve Defender, which has some muscle legs. Yato Alter, which got those nice balanced those balanced legs with some nice ties. It's same for Scavenger. I don't think, I don't think Meteorite has the balanced, okay? Okay, let's do this. We have our Farinha as the, as the gatekeeper for the, for the shaped legs. Let's leave Meteorite as the gatekeeper for the S tier. Probably the cutest burby in Arcanites. Our Pengu girl. <laughs> She's not even showing her legs on her zero art. Maybe her skin is gonna give us any any chance of seeing her legs. Cause yeah, those ankles are very stick. Yeah, and then she just has baggy baggy pants. Nah, dude. We can't we we can't give you any place on the list. Sorry, Maggie. You're just another stick. <laughs> Cute, but stick. Be by big. Okay. That's a good legs on the bottom side, but we don't have a good sight on of her thighs. We just see the skin, but we don't see the shape. I think she has some chance. We're gonna have to see in the other art, but this has some chance to show us some good legs. Now, looks like her curves went away. This is a bent straw. Look at it. Tell me that this two art doesn't get rid of all the chances she had in her zero art. We have enough shape here showing that she has some shape to her legs. And this is fine. Not good, but fine. Honest work. You beat our fighting. Good job, my big. Look. I am a gravel believer. And I love gravel's legs. Let's see if I'm wrong for liking her legs or not. You want art? Sticks. Completely sticks. She has nothing going on. You would break if you tried to stand with those legs. It's you art. At the at the two, she decided to get some shape. Not only on her legs, but look at this shape up here. Now, this is what we're talking about. This is some good leg right here. Although I don't think it deserves to be much higher. Like, this would never get to the level of Orchid or Matterhorn. She doesn't have enough muscle to beat the Defender Man. It's not enough shape. Unfortunately, not enough. But she's definitely here. She has some shape. She has good legs, even though they are not the best. Next on our list, it's Franca. Franca, if I remember correctly, is just a... a stick woman. If I remember, she doesn't have anything going on for her. No, no, this is a little bit better than I thought. But I think this is still sticks. We're gonna have to see the other arts. 
Well, the H2 art definitely has a little bit more shape than the U1 art. Not by much. But the tie is a little bit thicker. Okay, her skin got some, some nice shape to it. Look at that. Those are beautiful, beautiful ties. Franca deserves to be in S. That was unexpected, really. I thought Franca was just a stick woman. She can stay there. Franca somehow climbed to S. Didn't expect that at all. That you want art doesn't, prom doesn't promise anything. Those are very long sticks, alright? She does have a little bit more shape here. Is this enough to enter the shape it tier? Is this enough to get away from sticks? Mm, it's hard. I'll let you guys decide. Let you guys say. Stick. Where fighting win? Stick, stick. Where fighting is barely. Where fighting is thicker. Okay. Another stick for our list. It's time for Amia. And Amia, as we know, is a kid. She just stays at the bottom. Now, May. May is not a kid. May, as we all know, is a professional. Metante. I would say those legs have some. Have some shape. I think this is some shape. But her E2 art looks just like two bent straws. Stay in sticks. You have a lot of friends right there. Now, great throat. The E1 art definitely has some shape to it. Her lower half has some muscle to it. We don't have too much of her thighs here. Actually, what's going on with her right leg? I guess it's just hidden. Look at the size of that, that knee. This looks so weird. Well, her two art just saved it. That's definitely enough to, to beat War fighting, I would say. I'm not sure, actually. The lower half of her legs lost completely the shape. She just has that bottom. But the legs? I'm not sure, man. Like, it's weird. Her left knee doesn't exist in her zero art, and her, her calves don't exist in her two art. But I think she has enough to beat all of this. So she can be in the somewhat shape. <laughs> she has some shape. Aosta. Aosta is next. This is a very cheating start. Look at those. Look at the bags on those pants. It's too hard for Aosta. It's still the bag pants. The, the skin's gonna have to save him. Those are very sticky legs. Aosta, my man. Go hit the gym. It's time for Jessie Cat. Those are sticks. Fin legs are nice too. Fin legs might be nice. That doesn't mean... Look, look, look. We're calling them sticks for legs doesn't mean they are bad. They, I'm not trying to say they are bad. I'm just telling the truth. They are sticks. <laughs> now, we gotta look at Jessica Alter now. It's the same character. She grew up. And all the thickness that she... She... She, find, she found... Just went away. She got nothing on that T1 art on, on her altar. Sorry, Jessica. We love you, but nah, you'll stay at the bottom. I actually think Fan Ringer is quite a cool character. He has some nice lore. But we are not here for the lore, we're here for the legs. What is this? Oh, man. Look at that Spakati. The dude has some, some openings. Like, look at that. <laughs> Unfortunate. I expected more of you, Flame Ringer. Go hang out with your friends. Time for Neral now. And Neral has her out there as well. It's more chances for her to get some leg. Neral, Neral. I hope Neral has some muscle. Because she needs that, those muscles too for what she does on the field. She's just hiding her legs here. And those do not look like promising bottom halves of her legs. I don't know, man. It looks like the only shape she got here is from her armor. Her legs are complete sticks. Let's look at this skin now, because E1 in the 2 art are just sticks. She has some nice ass right there, but those legs don't look that good. Does her alter get any better? Not in the E0 art. Those are still sticks. E2. Not even the band helped her. Like, if this doesn't prove that her legs are just sticks, then what do you want? I wouldn't agree with you guys up until her day 2 art. Like, she has nothing. Just look at her legs, like, she has nothing going on. Even the bent that was able to save Grey, it's not saving her. But I think her skin has a little bit more going on for her. Like, her thighs got a little bit bigger. I don't think I can put Neral on, on the shape tier, guys. Neral, you're gonna live among the sticks. Time for Ethan, another man. Let's go. Baggy pants. 
What a cheater. What about the two art? <laughs> like, I was gonna say he's just hiding everything, but then I realized that those are his legs. Look at that! Even if I try to zoom, they still look small. <laughs> Ethan, you got no chance. I'm sorry. Just live there with your friends. It's time for Robin. Look. Those legs have some fat. Don't you guys agree? Those are some nice legs. Good legs. What about the two art? She still has that shape. Like, her shape doesn't come from muscle at all. Her shape is completely coming from fat. But we love, we like those as well. We love some fatty thighs. <laughs> In this case, she decides she, she wants to have some sticks. But the one and the two art have what it needs. I think, Robin, we've been for so long in the sticks tier that I, I forgot that we have some good legs in this game. She definitely has better legs than Meteorite. By a long mile. Be there, Robin. You deserve. You deserve the S. We all know that Tex is gonna be just a, a complete straw, right? She has no chance at all. <laughs> just, just look at that. Like, what the fuck is this, girl? It's the same thickness in her arm and her leg. <laughs> The new skin tried to give her some shape, but this is not enough. Her leg is not that good, even the, the, in the skin. The tie has no shape. No, 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 no. This is not enough. This is not enough to bring her out of the stick. And I guess it's just gonna get worse in the old skins. Yeah, man, this is the best art, and I don't think it's enough. Skin saved her, I think. That beats Warf. Nah, man, yeah, no, no, no. We, we can't. This is not enough. She still has thick legs. She tried her best. Kiave. Baggy pants. We found another cheater. We, we can't do anything about cheaters. Cheaters go into a stick. Now, I am an embryo enjoyer. Let's see if she has the legs to stay up to my liking. She has some ties, but her ties don't make up for the rest of the legs. It's too hard. Same thing. Didn't get much better. <laughs> That's some nice legs. I like it. She got the thickness to get out of the stick tier. Umbrella girl, you deserve your place here. You can be in the A tier because you got some nice shape in those beautiful, beautiful legs. Sidroka, my wife, someone who deserved to have a lot of muscle, but instead they gave her just booba. What about her legs, my girl? Hmm? Unfortunately, those were very sticky legs on her E1 art, even though I like her legs a lot. Sidrock is beautiful. It's a beautiful call. What about the true art? The true art! It's hard to see her legs. Because she's just trying to stay alive. Now, here she got some shape. <laughs> her right leg is a little bit weird. It's probably a very difficult perspective here. But those are nice ties. And her left leg has some shape. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think this is ass. It's not thick enough to be ass. But it, it got enough shape to be an A. You can be here, Sidrok. Now, Akafuyu Akafuyu. I know that her skin is really good. I bought her skin because of the legs. But her zero art doesn't show anything. As much as I love those legs, they actually don't have that much size, do they? They don't have muscle. They have a little bit of fat, giving them shape, but they're not fake ties. She's definitely here, because she has some shaped legs. She's not, she's not thin enough to be in sticks, but she doesn't go high. If I remember correctly, Silver Ash has some of the stickiest legs around. Hmm, yep, those are definitely sticks behind those pants, right? <laughs> he has got nothing going on. The only shape we have here is some baggy pants. <laughs> Look, the real star of the show, Chad Horn. Look at that jawline. And look at that muscle cough. But Silver Ash has nothing going on. Silver Ash, you're just a stick. Do you guys like Project Red? I like Red. I have her raised. That is your art. Has got nothing going on. What about the two art? Nope. That's no shape at all. As much as she's trying to show all her legs and show us that she has some ties, this is not enough to get out of the stick. Stay there, Red. We all know that in her E2 art, the color goes from being just a normal girl, you know? Just someone that you would see on the street, someone that doesn't eat very often. 
Someone that has one meal a day and only eats like one fruit. <laughs> but then on her two are, she becomes mommy. But what about her legs? She has the shape, but her thighs are very sad. Her E1 art is a total stick. Her E2 art, she only has the shape of the calf. She doesn't have enough. She can be together with the other sticks. It's time for silence, and silence gets rated together with her altar. Silence and silence altar. Those are definitely sticks in her E1 art. Come on, out girl. You got nothing going on. What happened? She tried. She tried eating a little bit more every day. Just getting that that extra spoon of rice on lunch. But she, she didn't get there. Sorry, Silence. And I hope you buy some pillows for when you get a boyfriend. Because those legs are not gonna help. One would expect that Hoshiguma would have some very big legs, right? After all... She's the... she's the Oni. She's the big woman. She's the... she's one of the tallest women in Arknights. She has baggy pants. Oh, those are some negative points there. We can't even see anything. <laughs> and look at those ankles. Those ankles are just sticks. What about your two art, girl? We can't even see your legs. Hoshi, I expected so much from you. But you got nothing going on. Even if you have something, you're hiding it. I have no choice but send you to the stick realm. Hmm, next is Nightmare. Does Gloria-chan have some legs? It looks like it has some shape. We're gonna have to ask for her Ichu art, right? Ichu got worse. Her calves got stickier. Her thighs kinda stayed the same, so... It kinda got a little bit worse, I'm not sure. What about your skin? Yeah, your skin is just a bunch of sticks. Nightmare, stay in the stick. <laughs> I don't know why I have hope, like, click is clearly just a small stick. Is click a kid? No, click is an adult. <laughs> Look at those sad legs. She just, uh, she just walking with two chopsticks. Stay in the stick tier, click. Beeswax. Beeswax is an adult, right? She just, she just acts like a kid and Carnelian kind of forces it into her. You will an art? Definitely. Stick no matter where you see. <laughs> you just called her a flat. Her chart got a little bit better. She learned what calves are. Although her thighs are not nowhere to be seen. She has that weird situation where the bottom side of her legs are not great. She just got some thighs. I don't think... I think she stays in stick. She tried. But she's a stick. Next is Skadi. I hope Skadi has some nice ties. Because come on, it's Skadi. I always paid attention to her... To her tie windows. But her legs are just sticks. Just look at this. Like, what is going on here? Skadi. This starts at the bottom tier. Let's see the, the rest. This shows her ties a little bit better. The shape on her ties are good. Her ties, very nice. Her calves... Nowhere, nowhere to be seen. Looks like, uh, looks like Spectre got a bite of her calves and she just lost them. <laughs> now, I think you guys are letting you, letting the, the pose take you away. This is definitely not top of the list, but these are some very good legs, my man. Oh well, actually we gotta look at the altar. Can't forget the altar. The altar is important as well. Not much in the zero art. Doesn't get much better. Those are very thin legs. Nothing really going on. And then you have this on her first skin of the altar. Those are some nice ties. Everybody would be happy with some ties like that. She definitely deserves to be an ass. Like she beats everybody in the shape tier out of the water. She goes in ass. But she doesn't have enough to be in double S. Be there, Skadi. Be happy. Next on the list, it's Andriana. Man, those are some sad legs. Still the biggest sticks I've seen. <laughs> no, not the biggest sticks I've seen, but you guys understand. It, this is just a bent straw. Please, our lord and savior, low light. <laughs> yes, as we all know, low light did the incredible 
Andreana cosplay. And nobody knew that it was low light. But the only reason he was able to do the Andreana cosplay was because he's just as sticky as Andreana. I'm sorry, girl. Stay in the bottle. <laughs> Next, it's Moose. Come here, Moose. Show me what you got. Any chances for Moose? Not, not right now. It's too hard. Nothing going on. The angle doesn't even help. It makes it worse. She's trying. She's trying. She's really trying with, with just showing her ties like that. But this is not it. I agree. Go for six. We need some more ops in the in the top tiers. Like what the fuck? Well, <laughs> good thing we want more ops in the top tier, right? <laughs> Boys and girls, we got it. We finally got someone else who is at the top of the charts, and it's none other than Tommy Me herself. Look at that thickness, even at the one art, you can see her fat legs. And you love them. Now, here is where it's at. Look at it. Look at Tomimi and tell me she doesn't deserve to be at the top. Tomimi definitely deserves to be at the top of the charts together with her other two champions so far. Shining and the next. Look, I don't think I need even to look. We are going to look at her arts though, but she is just a stick. Let's be real. Chen has no chance. They are just as bad as the reserve medic legs. They make no sense. Where did her knee go? Look at her two art. Still not making much sense of those thin legs. How do you fight with those, girl? They're gonna break. <laughs> Chen de Holunde. Is this enough to get her out of the stick? Are those legs good enough? The water is hiding her legs. We can't even talk about her two art. It's only the one art and the skin. The question is, is this enough? I guess, I guess her legs here have some shape to them, right? We can see her calves. Her knees do look a little bit weird. And I think this is enough to get out of the bottom tier. I can't put her in the some shape is nice. You can be there, Chen. Time for read. Use E0 art. Nothing going on. It doesn't get much better. <laughs> We can try to zoom in the single leg here. Look, it's so extremely thin. Any chance for salvation here, Reed? Doesn't look like it. The calves did get a lot better on her skin. I think we can put her in A. She doesn't have uh, that shapeless legs when you look at everything overall. She can be in A. Get in there, Reed. I don't think we need to look at Suze, right? Suze is not gonna have the same glow up that Chen got, that somehow got her out. We all know that Suze is... is the thinnest of them all. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is not April 1st! What is going on? Suze is a grown adult that didn't grow her body, but she's a full stick. Next on the list is Meyer, and I don't think Meyer is gonna have too much going on for her. Because look at those zero legs right there. <laughs> she got nothing going on. There's no meat to be seen here. The next stop we get to S, we gotta change the name of the tier. Who we have next? Schwarz. Schwarz is a good contender to go in for S. Not much on the zero art though. The legs don't have that much shape, but you can see that they have some fat. E2 art. Still no calves. Just ties. Is this going to be another meteorite situation? Mm, it's not looking good for Schwarz. I thought she had more. I really thought Schwarz was, was better than this, but she doesn't have the, the lower half of the legs. The, the lower half is nothing. Then the, the, the ties have a little bit. This is kind of the situation that meteorite is in. You ask me, we put meteorite down and we put Schwarz as the gatekeeper of S. Meteorite down. And I'm putting Schwarz in there. I think that's better. Next is Ptilopsis. Our next owl girl. That's some shape. Those are very thin legs, but she definitely beats Warfarin. Just because of that shape. This is definitely worth a, a, a shape tier. Getting there, Ptilopsis. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of Beanstalk's legs? She has a chance. Let's see her skins. What do we do about Beanstalk, chat? What do we do? 
Like that tie is quite a nice size. The calves are not impressive, but at least they are there. We can put her in the shape tier. Let's go Beanstalk. Spectre. And we have her out there as well. From the, from the get go, those, those zero legs are very, very thin. She somehow goes from having a complete toothbrush to having this, this waist. Her two art doesn't help. She completely lost what she had for ties. Like, because here, she had some ties because of her hips. E2 art lost it all. And then she completely lost everything because she decided to use a, a dress. Let's look at her the altar. Maybe Spectre altar will save her from the bottom tier. This is better. This is better for sure. Definitely has more shape. I think she's probably getting out of the, the stick tier. Although those legs are big, man. If she had more fat on those legs, she would be so thick. I think because of her zero art, I'm willing to take her out of the sticks. If it wasn't for her E1 art, she would just be a stick for me. There you go. Time for Nya. What do you have going on for us? Aren't those some sad sticks if I've ever seen one? Her E2 art makes it even worse. Because now we have a full sight of the stick in action. Nya. I'm sorry to tell, I'm sorry to say, but you are a complete stick. <laughs> we all know that Vulcan has no legs. She literally doesn't have one leg. <laughs> Total stick. We need some more thickness. Maybe Estelle can save us. Maybe Estelle will give us the opportunity to change the name of the S tier. That's definitely some nice ties. But she has no calves to be seen. Now, this is better. This is some good legs. I'm feeling like... Estelle, because of her true art, deserves to be high. I, I don't feel like I should put her in S. Let me compare to Skadi again. Nah, definitely. We should put Estelle in S. She has better legs than everyone here. Go to S, Estelle. You deserve to be in there. Next, Granny. I love Granny, but as far as I'm aware, she's a complete stick. Those are some sad legs right there. Total stick. She just has some of those outside tie windows right there that are very weird <laughs> but we love them of course it's unfortunate but granny doesn't have anything going on for her so we're just gonna have to put granny in sticks who's the next on the list blaze blaze should get up right blaze is like a super thick cat she needs to be thick to have a lot of blood otherwise how she's gonna fight mm, but this is not promising at all blaze can be in a she doesn't have the best legs, but it is fair work. Blaze doesn't have the best, but she can be here in, in the nice shaped legs. Are we gonna get Kuma leg review to finish the tier list? <laughs> I don't think so. Can we even see Piff's legs at all? No, we can. We have a look. But those are just sticks, right? They're not defined at all. They're very straight. There's not much we can say about the AIS 5 stars because we only have one art to look at them. But Piff definitely does not beat our fighting. Sharp literally cheats because he's using baggy baggy pants. We can't rank Sharp. Sharp goes into sticks. If Aki has big legs, I'm gonna be impressed. Because if I remember, this gremlin guy is a complete... A complete stick of a guy. He doesn't have any fat in his body. Aki doesn't have anything to show for his work. And look at that. We have some look at his fur right here. Those legs are complete sticks. Aki has absolutely no chance. Just stay in the stick tier list. Touch is in the same situation. She has some definition, but she has absolutely no fat in her legs at all. So Touch is gonna accompany her 5-star friends from AS in the stick tier. Star Maya has baggy pants. Nothing we can say about baggy pants. Go to the stick tier. Now, before, someone said that Blemmy Shine has more thickness than Nero. Let's see if that's true. Well, something from the get-go. It makes absolutely no sense that her armor is shaping like that around her, around her leg. She would never be able to take her armor off. We can't really see her legs. Her calves look very sticky to me. Ooh, her skin is just a full-on stick. Warfarin beats Blamey Shine every day of the week. Just like her sister. I'll even put them together. There you go. They are the same. What about Tulip? Those are very long sticks. 
Look how long they are! And look how no shape they have! What do you guys think of Doberman? Baggy pants? That's unfortunate. All we see is baggy pants. We can't rank you, girl. Stay in stick. Now, all the bear girls are kids. And we do not talk about kids. Someone from Orsus here is not a kid. Does Helagor have those muscular legs to save him? We can't see really his legs on his, his ear art. Although his ankles look really nice. Now, the pants are not baggy around his leg. You can see the shape around his thigh. And you can see that old Gramps has some strong legs going on. Now, can we see more leg on his skin? Mm, not really. We just have again the, the shape of his calves very strong. He deserves to be ass. That T2 art has some muscle to it. But it's not enough to compete with Matterhorn and Orchid and Swire, right? We just leave him here. And anyway, anybody in S tier and up is already a win. Like, when you compare S to the shape tier, this has all the meat. Anyway, now that we got another S operator, let's rename this tier. Let's call it Barbecue. Because that's where the good meat is at. And we're not talking about North American Barbecue. No, 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 no. We're talking about authentic Brazilian barbecue. That's the good stuff. Let's go for Jackie now. We all know that Jackie is voluptuous, but it doesn't look like uh, she has the legs for to, to go on with it. She shows her legs a lot, but that's not it. Nah, man. Jackie doesn't have it. Just throw her in sticks together with everybody else. <laughs> ah, Stygia. <laughs> Those are certainly some thin ankles right there. What about your two? Only ankles as well. And they don't look good. Okay, we got some leg. We have something to go with. If there's any art to save her, it's this one. But since she doesn't get past the... The, the knee bend. The, the knee bend test. Her tie doesn't, doesn't get squished right there at all. She's a complete stick. Time for bagpipe. Okay, from the get-go she gets... She gets at least in the shape tier. What about her two art? More of the same, really. Just good legs overall. Like, she's consistent throughout all of her arts. She has the knees that make sense. She has the nice shaped calves. She has some meat on her thighs. She has everything you would want for a nice, nice and sweet barbecue. As we call that tier. If I remember correctly, Sin has absolutely no meat in her body. She is just a stick after all. Sin is a total stick. She got nothing. I am scared of Perfumer. Because she's a scary woman. I feel like if I got an order from Perfumer, I couldn't run from it. Her ankles are not as thin as they would be bad. So like, her ankles at least have a nice shape. Oh here, here's some leg. Nah man, this is a stick leg. I love her legs on this skin. But those are not legs good enough to get a, to get her out of the sticks. She is just a stick girl. I mean, stick but has decent fat. Yeah, you can feel like you can say it like that. But she's still a stick nonetheless. I think Lace is a complete stick as well. Right? Those are some sad legs. She's trying so hard to show some cows right there, but. She has no meat on those legs, let's be real. Go into sticks. Eh, half of the game is gonna be on sticks. What is going on? Do you have anything going on for you, Sessa? Those legs are decent. They are definitely not stick legs. It's kind of like Midnight in this E1 art. What about the true art? Look at that curve on that thigh. He has some muscle on that thigh, look at that. The, the thigh is going up by that much just from him, just from Sessa putting his feet a little bit up. That's a muscle right there. I think Sessa wins here against the against Grimms Halagor. Sessa's gonna be our second male in double S together with Matterhorn. Next is Gavial. Her legs start very very thin at the E zero art. What about her issue art? That just shows that her she only has sticks. Like, <laughs> man, how the fuck do her legs meet here? <laughs> Even her skin doesn't save her. She put a big boot right there, but she doesn't have ties. Let's see Gavial Alter. It got better 
but not enough. Like, she got some ties, but she has absolutely no calves at all. All she has is ties. I guess in this skin it looks a little bit better. I'd say she has enough meat to get out of the stick tier. Mostly because of this skin. Get in there, Gavial. You deserve to be in the shape tier. Firewatch has nothing going on for her. Look at that. Look at those noodle legs. <laughs> Your legs are so sad, Firewatch. Poor Firewatch. She got nothing going on. I'm sorry, Firewatch, but you know that you are way too thin. You got nothing going on for her. For you. Get in the stick. Oh my god, that's such a thin leg. I mean, I knew Phantom had thin legs, but I kind of forgot. Phantom has very, very thin legs as well. Even in his skin, he has that super nice, super classy cross legs. And that that also shows how thin his legs are. Because if you have some nice muscle, or if you have some nice fat in your legs, you are not able to cross your legs like this. This is just someone who has only bones for legs can do. Phantom has no chance. I'm so sorry. You're just a stick. Sorry, Phantom. Next is Liz Carm. From my from my memory, Liz Carm is the figure of the duo Liz Carm Franca. But Franca somehow made her way into barbecue. Okay. Hair is zero art. Those look very thin. It's weird because they look like thin legs, but at the same time they look like they have fat on them. You know? Because you can see the. The, the, the shadows of the fat on her knees and stuff. It's a weird thickness because the legs look thin, but at the same time they look like they have a lot of fat on them. I think this gives her at least enough to get through, to get out, to get out of the stick tier. Here she came back to have a just very thick legs. Look at look at all that fat. Look at those thighs. Look at those calves. And then her her other skin just has some very nice thighs. She has some fat in her legs gives her some shape. Stay in there, Liscar. Shaw. <laughs> Shaw has like chibi legs. She's not she's not a, a real human being. Look at how chibi she looks. <laughs> Look at this. How are we supposed to rank this? Unfortunately for you, Shaw. Just be in the stick together with all your friends. Now, we all know that her tail is fake, but what about her legs? What do we think about this tie right here? Because when I look at this, all I see is a very thin tie. But the problem is, her dress is hiding the center. So this could very well be a very thick tie. Now we can see some thickness on her tie. Although her calves are not that good. If she gets anywhere, she's probably just staying in the shape tier. She doesn't have enough meat. Enough meat. Just be there. You got the shape at least. Anyway, it's time for W. This is definitely not a stick. Look. Her calves have some shape. It's not the best shape, not the best calves, but they have some shape. Your two is worse. If I looked at your two first, you would be in stick tier right now, W. Because all you have is ties, and that is not enough to be in S. This is a very wrong bottom side of her, bottom part of her legs. If she tried to walk like this, she would just break her leg. We can't have much. Much else to see here on her skin because her her pants are kind of baggy. And we are kind of worried more about her calves than her thighs. So there is nothing really to see. Maybe the outer will give her a chance. Those are definitely some well-shaped legs. Again, the good knees with some fat around them. The calves look nice. The thighs are decent. And she doesn't have the very thin ankles anymore, it looks like. The legs on her Isabelle are definitely better than the base art, just because the legs are more balanced. But she loses a little bit of tie. It's fine. Because those legs on her... on her E1 on Isabel are her best legs for sure. Because of Isabel, she goes to A. Next is Indra. That's a leg with no shape right there. Why are your muscles, girl? Those legs have no shape at all. She has no fat, she has no muscle. And here in this skin, she's just using a baggy pant. Indra, you got no chance. Just stick there in sticks. Gitano also looks like she only has sticks for legs. Gitano has some elegant sticks, especially in Harry Two Art. Look how beautiful she is. I love Harry Two Art, but those legs have nothing going on. 
Look how straight this line from her ankle up all the way to her body is. And now look at the other side. You barely get any movement here on her calf. Her knee is nowhere near to is nowhere to be seen. She doesn't really have thighs. Don't get me wrong, those are beautiful, beautiful legs. I love them, but she just got nothing. Thick isn't the only way. I agree with you. But but today we are only ranking by thickness. Now, next on the list, our boy that apparently we learned yesterday that he is a a pigeon. Elysium. Elysium has absolutely no calves on his one art. That's kinda sad for him. How can a messenger have no calves? You could say that his thighs are kinda decent here. But we can't see that much. You're just a stick, Elysium. Unfortunately, you don't have anything. You don't have neither fat nor muscle. If I remember co correctly, Weedy has some nice, some very nice thighs. But what about the rest of her legs? Does it keep up? Because those legs are beautiful. Look at Weedy right there. Weedy one art. I love her legs. But I'm not sure if I'm happy with those calves. The knees are nice. The ankles are okay. And the thighs are amazing. Hmm, we don't have to we don't get to see much more on Harry Schwartz. Let's compare this to Schwartz. Nah, Weedy definitely has better legs than Schwartz. We Weedy deserves to be in the barbecue tier. Croissant! She does have some nice shapely thighs and calves. But I want to see more before I want to bring you away from the sticks. This each art looks like more stick than the one art. Those are just straight up sticks. The, the Mad Max skin and stuff is cool and all, but those are just sticks. If we go only by Harry Zero Art, I think she clears Warfighting. It's very close, but she got there. Unfortunately, I think Dornar doesn't show her legs, so we're gonna have to put her in sticks. But in my head canon, Dornar is a thick girl. Dornar is a chubby. But look at those baggy, baggy pants. We, we can't see her legs. There's no way we can rank her. I do believe Dornar is a chubby, and I do believe she has quite the, the thick ties and stuff. But there's nothing we can do. She goes to the stick tier because of her baggy pants. Tuye! Yeah, it is just like Gitano's legs, right? It's just a pair of sticks. This is a better sight, though. Looking at her legs from behind, they kind of look a little bit better, but they still have no... No horizontal shape. I don't think her legs deserve to be very high on the list. Just leave her in the bottom. Let's continue, because we have quite the list to go through. Starting today with Ceylon. And Ceylon here starts off not with a very happy scenario here. Not a happy sight. We can't even see her legs. What about her itchy art? <laughs> it gets even worse. Of course you have the skin. And that's where the stuff is at. Look at that. Ceylon definitely has some beautiful legs. The question is, how meaty are they? I don't think she has enough to be at the top of the list. So let's be generous with her and just put her here. She has the shape. Those are some sad legs. Like, come on, Cutter. How are you gonna work in the field with those limpy legs like that? Cutter has no legs, man. That's so sad. Like, look at it. Her her knee just fades away together with her calves. It's it's really, really sad. You stay at the bottom of the list. Unfortunately, you don't have enough leg. Everybody affects people differently. <laughs> it limped Cutter's legs. Oh, no. What do we have for us, Breeze? I don't know if this is enough, but it's certainly something. At least her knee has a nice size. She doesn't have those weird knees that don't exist. Like, at least her leg makes sense, you know? I think she, she deserves to be here. Although there's quite a difference between Breeze and Ceylon. Did the, was I too harsh on Ceylon? Maybe we should compare with our gatekeeper here. Let's compare to, to Schwarz. Like, Ceylon's legs are definitely better than Schwarz's legs. I don't know, man. I really don't like that Schwarz is here. I would be willing to swap Ceylon for Schwarz. Schwarz has thicker ties, but Ceylon just look better. Let's do that then. Why not? I have that power. We can just do this. 
Get down, Silo! I mean, get down, Schwarz! Next on our list, we have another man. We have Thorns. And Thorns just got an upgrade. Well, we'll see if it's an upgrade or not, but he got a new skin. He's hiding everything on his E-Zero art. He's just showing his right ankle right there. Not much to go for. It doesn't get any better on his E-Zero art. I mean, I guess you could say it's an improvement, because now he's showing both of his ankles. Mm, on his casual skin, he shows a little bit more of his calf. But that's about it. I don't know, I don't think Torrent is gonna be able to, to climb out of the stick tier. Cause he's really trying to hide. And even here that we have a nice sight, his calves look really really sad. It looks limp. Those are some long legs. I mean, that right leg right there has some nice shape. He, he, he managed to climb out of the stick tier. Next on the list. Oh look at that. We have both of the friends here together. First. Let's look at Waifu. Waifu doesn't show her legs in her E-Zero art. Those are some baggy pants. Same thing, still a cheater. We can't even see her legs. We do have a glimpse into, into her thigh here, but it's not much. She was hiding her legs in both of her default arts and in her skin. We just have that small glimpse into her thigh and it doesn't look that thick. Waifu didn't make it. Go stay at the bottom with everyone else. And now Jay. Or Happy Bear. Jay in his special smile. Let's see if he has legs to get behind that special smile. Jay. Jay doesn't understand what it means to hit the gin. He's just a salesman. He just stays in his stall every day, all day. <laughs> and then he's hiding his legs in his true art. Look at that. Look at those baggy pants. Although... Those are some nice calves he has here. We don't see much of his thighs. We see a little bit right there on his right leg. I mean, it looks like he has some meat. Look where that line fades in inside his hand right there. It is a nice curve. I think he has just enough muscle. It's not much, but again, our gatekeeper is warfighting. You don't need much to get past her. Mm. And my girls know Sant isn't looking very good from the get-go. That is a little bit of fake. That calf has a has a little bit of a curve. And then in her skin, they puff it up a little bit. She just lost a bit on her knees for some reason. No Sant, you deserve to be here. Your your legs have shape. Which I love it. Here, Vulcan is the gatekeeper of the sticks. <laughs> She's literally the bottom of the list. <laughs> Next, this is a character people were scared about yesterday. Where do you guys think Surtur will be? Right off the bat, she has potential. But she's not letting her legs shine. Like look, she has a little bit of squish here at the very top on her thighs. But it's a sad squish. It's the only thing squishable in her entire leg. Okay, okay. That's just a little bit better. You'll see a little bit more squish. But then again, I think this is just how the, the legs are are positioned. Because it's not much different from Harry Zero Art. It's the same legs. It's the same stick. It's basically if you are trying to, to have a lollipop. Look, you have the big stick and just a little bit of sweetness in the top. It's not, not enough. Not enough. Again, guys, I think, I think Surtur is struggling with the same issue that Schwarz kind of had and some other operators before. Like, she has some tie. In this skin, she got some tie. But the rest of her leg, like, what is this? How can you have this tie but they have these calves? What happened to your knee? What about those ankles? They don't exist. Now, this certainly has more consistency to it like at least it feels like the size of the leg makes sense for its entirety she has a nice bend on that right leg right there all you have is that super super tight super 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 tight thing just tied around her her tie right there 
That's like she's trying really hard to show some squish. I think she has enough to get out of stick, but not much more than that. Because she has some ties, although the bottom side of her legs are, are just nowhere to be seen. And here it becomes just a little bit better, a little bit more balanced, so we can say that Surto has some nice shaped legs. But you can't, you can't convince me that this is worth nothing, something else than just the nice shape. Better than Swars. Yeah, good thing we dethroned Schwarz. So now she can stay with Schwarz in the shaped legs. <laughs> Will Shirayuki have anything for us? From the get go, no. Those are those are terrible legs. You, they, those those legs would break if you tried walking with them. Can't see her leg at all. She's just killing us for trying to look at her legs. Look, we have the the whole projectile in our face. What about the? Oh, look at that! She got some muscle right there. No, no, no. Look at the difference. You see this calf here? You see the thigh? You see the muscle? You see those muscle lines on her clothes? Look at the difference. What, what happened, Shirayuki? When did you get those muscles? <laughs> I think Shirayuki deserves to be in barbecue. <laughs> She's the first woman to be in barbecue for, for muscular reasons. Because all the others don't show that, that, that much musculature. But yeah, Asbestos has no chance. I already know that she has the, the some of the thinnest legs in the game. Sorry, Asbestos, but you have no chance. Just stay there. And I don't know, ask someone else from the tier above how to eat a little bit. <laughs> you need it. I see Triple S should be called Watermelon Crusher. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna struggle to get another Triple S, so we might as well. <laughs> I love it. I think that's a fair name for the top of the top tiers. Leon Hart. Those are some very chicken legs you got there. Mm, nah, man, he got nothing. He at least got the a curve for his tie that makes sense in the position he's at. But that's a very sad size. If he tried just a little bit harder, maybe in his next skin he could have gotten some nice legs. But he decided to hide them. I think he gave up on training his legs. You can be on the sticks. Okay, next on the list, Bee Hunter. You have the punches. What about your legs, Bee Hunter? That is definitely already enough to get her out of sticks. Because that's a nice shape. It's your art. It's your art actually doesn't change much. We just get a new perspective. We can look we can look closer at her ties here. Look at that squish. Look how beautiful it is. The hunter definitely gets out of the sticks, but doesn't go much higher. She can stay here in the nicely shaped legs. So next on the list, Iris Carp. His friend already got banished to the stick legs. And it looks like he's gonna get there, yeah. get in there as well. Mm, yeah, this is just a sad stick. He has no shape in those legs. What about his skin? It gets even worse because now he's hiding then. Sorry, Ayers. You have no chance. Just go live with your friend right there. Let's put them together. Why not? There you go. They can stay together as the sticky boys. Okay, next on the list, Madrock. I think we can't even see Madrock's legs, right? I think all we can see about Madrock... No, no, she has her two new skins. We can't see her legs. I forgot about the, the skins. Because, yeah. In the armor, a lot of people thought she was a guy. But then she had her review. And everybody was like, what? Madrock is a girl? And she's hot? <laughs> but she shows no legs. She still has her armor legs. But this is not enough to put Madrock that high. No, 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 no. We gotta be fair to the ties. And the rest of the legs as well. I'll allow Madrock to be here. It's barely. It's, it's not by far. It's very close. But I will allow it. Next, we have Auntie Mungoose. I never remember her real name because I just call her Mungoose. Polenik. Those are some very sad legs because look at that. Look at that very sad knee right there. What is going wrong with that knee? <laughs> That's definitely much better. She got some calves. Her knee isn't that weird anymore. Her thigh got a mm, decent curve. I think this is already enough to get her out of the sticks. Her skin is kinda like her art. It definitely brings her out of sticks. 
Because she has that shape on her calves, her knees are nice. Okay, Falnik. You deserve your position here. Next. Conviction. Our local god that has no gender. But has very sad legs, that's for sure. That, that is not enough. It's still just a bent straw. This is on the same level as the reserve medic. No, 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 this, this is not okay. Conviction, stay at the bottom. You, do, you don't have it. <laughs> Next on the list, okay. This one people told me it was the last hope for the Hans girls. Do you guys pray for we slash? Do you think we slash? We'll bring the horse girls back into action. This is not looking that good. That's a very sad leg from the knee below. Okay. Now she got some shape. Look at that thick. Look at that thick thigh. But do you see the problem here? She also has that thing where the, the lower side of the leg lacks the meat that the thighs have. I'll allow Slash to be in barbecue. I'm not sure about it. But she will be there. Her, her, her legs have a nice shape. He has some nice meat to it, even though it's not the best balance we've seen. This is the hope for the males. If someone gets the top, it's mountain. It, it, this is not a good start. Not a good start for a boring mountain. He's just hiding everything inside his pants. Mm, I can't even make out the shape of his legs here. Like, is this his knee? Or is this his thigh? This has to be his knee, right? Yeah, that's the, his knee on the right side. There's so much going on. I can see his arm. His arm sure is huge. But I can't really see much of his legs. The, this, these pants aren't that baggy. We can see the shape. We can see that even his ankles are massive. Those are definitely some thick legs, alright? From top to bottom. Those are thick. What about the last art? Okay, okay. Now. This is definitely... A very strong leg. He's big enough to be at the very top. Mountain with those very, very strong legs has climbed to the top of the list. <laughs> like, we can't make up the sh we can't make out the shape that well. But the, the the legs are so thick at the top and at the bottom that there's no way we can't put him up there. It's just so much. Now we have a male representative everywhere on the list. <laughs> we achieved. True gender equality. Kaka has some sticks on her easy art. What about your Ichu art? Not much better. It's still just a pair of sticks. She tried. She tried her best to get those calves some shape, to get those thighs a little bit of a squish. But she does she doesn't get there. Kafka is just another stick girl. Eat a little bit more Kafka. You're close. And next we have uh Whispering. I remember her name. Hmm, she has some long legs, but I'm not sure, man. Is this shapely enough? That's a beautiful tie she has got going on. With that hidden syringe for a weapon right there. Hmm, I think those legs are like... Kinda just a little bit better than Warfarin, if I had to do this height. I think she, kinda, she just barely climbs out of this thick tier. You made your way into the second tier. You're okay, Whispering. Let's look at... Arketo now. We can't see much here. We can barely see the lines of her thighs. We can't see much of her... Of the bottom half of her legs. We can see her thighs a little bit. This is kinda like what happened with Skadi. We didn't have much to see on Skadi, just this kind of pose. But I think Arketo doesn't get to Skadi's level. I think she has a little bit less calf. Like, look, her knees look quite small for that thigh size. Oh, but her skin is a little bit better. She doesn't have enough meat to become barbecue, but she definitely can, can get out of the sticks. She has some shape. Those are some beautiful and modeled legs. Arketo definitely has some shape thanks to the skin. We can't see much of her legs in Harry's ear and each art, but the skin really gets there. The skin gives her the shape she needs. Next on the list. This is another one that's go not gonna show as much, I think. I guess her skin's gonna show a little bit to us. But I remember that Harry Schwartz just has those ties to be appreciated. But I forgot her name as well. Iris, there you go. 
Yeah, we can't see much here. I mean, it looks like she has something going on. This could become a nicely shaped leg. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, like here. In her zero art, it looks like it has some curves that could lead her anywhere somewhere. And here it is. You'll see, that's a nice curve right there on that calf. That knee ends up bending very nicely with the curve of her thighs. It looks like she has some nice size here. This is looking great for Iris, I feel like. You can go enjoy your place in the shapely legs, Iris. I think you deserve your place right there. Hayes doesn't have a skin, so we only have two arts to look at Hayes. Those are very sad sticks. Her knees is small, she doesn't really have much thigh. Only her calves are good. This is a little bit better. Again, the problem with the knees being just a little bit too small. She's lacking a little bit more shape. Like, just a little bit more thickness on those thighs. Just to complement her calves, because it looks like the only thing she has is calves. They're gonna leave you at the bottom, Hayes. It was close, though. You almost got there, girl. Next on the list, Savage. Mmm, that's some nice ties from the get-go. And those calves are good as well. This is not the best, but also doesn't feel out of place. Now, that's a little bit better. Like, look at it. Her knee got a little bit more mess. Her calves got a little bit weirder, though. I guess this... This position looks better for her left leg. Her right legs look a little bit weird. Looks like the artist wasn't quite sure how to do this perspective. <laughs> she might have just enough to climb to barbecue. Also, look at her. Look at this. Look at her cake here. Just hiding. I think she has just enough fat to climb to barbecue. Carnelia. Although her zero art doesn't look good. Gotta tell you what, it's a very long leg, but it's a very thin leg at all. It didn't get better at all. H2 Art just has longer sticks. We know what you guys are waiting for. You guys are waiting for the, for the beat skin. So let's look at the other skin first. This is a much better shape. We can't see much of it, but just the thickness here around her knee. The, the curvature of the calf. Actually, the calf gets a little bit weird because it enters the boot in an angle that's a little bit too steep. But that's something that is kind of hard to figure out sometimes when you're drawing anyway. So I'm not gonna blame Carnelian for this. For this little bit of a mistake. And that's what's gonna bring Carnelian to the top, right? She definitely has the meat. And again, the shape is nice. She isn't really lacking anywhere. The knee is good, the ankle is, is just thin enough. Let's put Carnelia in barbecue. She's comparable to the girls around here, so she can be with them. Next, Manticore. Those are not good legs to start with. <laughs> her knees don't exist. Manticore traded all the thickness on her legs for that strong tail. <laughs> because, like, look at that. The power went away. She didn't have much, but now it's non-existent. What about your skills, Manticore? That's some better legs right there. This is definitely enough to bring her up from the stick list. These legs are much better. You can see the squish on her thigh right there, on her right leg. You can see the shape of her calf, the shape of her thigh here. It's a little bit of a weird curve, but that's okay. We, we can overlook that. Just a little bit more and you would be able to beat Silo. But for now, you'll sit there. Maybe in your next skin. Next on the list, Frostleaf. Frostleaf is one of the favorite characters of a lot of people. And a lot of people are sad that Frostleaf isn't powerful in game. Yeah, this E2 art just tells you everything. Like, look at it. They are just parallel lines. <laughs> she did get some tie here. Those legs got stronger. But it doesn't keep the balance, I feel like. I feel like Frostleaf is just gonna have to, to be at sticks. It's close, though. Just a little bit more and she could have climbed. What do you have for us, Broken? We all know about your sausage arms, but do you have sausage legs? Those legs look like they have some strength to them. Because look, the pants are hiding everything, but the pants are not baggy. 
they're kind of tightly fit to, to his legs. Yeah, it kind of keeps the same thing. The thighs are strong. You can see that the armor is tightly fit on his calves. This looks like some strong legs. Broca gets to barbecue for those muscles. Just barely hidden behind his clothes. It's time for... The granny. That everybody hates when she starts bobbling in the lore. <laughs> and those are very, very sticky legs. She does have a little bit of her curvature on her calves. But she has no thighs. Like, look at it. Where's the thickness? You're only bones. You'll stay in the stick, cuts it. If there is a bear to be thick, it's fitter. We can see a little bit of tire here. Here. This is what you can expect at most from the bear legs. She definitely has shaped legs, but I don't think this is barbecue level. That doesn't have enough, you know? It's not enough thickness. Nah, okay. Now nah, she, she, she has more legs than Cylon. We can put Peter on top of Cylon. That's fine. It's barely, it's close. Utag is very known for, for her volume, but that might not be true for her legs. That's some shape. I'm, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this beginning. She got a little bit of a debuff in the h art. The, the, the legs don't look just as shapely as they were. The new skin definitely has some beautiful legs. I love this skin. Those legs look super nice. She does make it into the nicely shaped legs. Cliffheart should have very strong legs. After all, she's a climber. If you don't have strong legs when you're climbing, how are you gonna climb? <laughs> where is your where are your muscles, girl? You're missing some muscles. How are you gonna climb those mountains without muscles? Cliffheart doesn't have the power. But she definitely has enough to get to climb away. <laughs> she has enough to climb away from the stick tier. And get herself some nice shaped legs. We know that Gladia likes to show her legs a lot, even though she doesn't have any windows or anything like that. But the leggings she wears are very tight. Are very tight to her body. We can't see much more on her E2 art. We can't see more at all. She has this shape on her legs. They're very long legs too. She can stay here in the shaped legs. Sora, we had some fans expecting Sora to be high. Mm, but she's not promising Harry Zero art. That's some beautiful ties right there. But it doesn't look like we have a lot of meat in them. Skins. Oh yeah, we have this sort of skin. This is a beautiful leg. You have the meat on the tie, you have the nice size on the knees, and you have that nice curvature on the calf. Those are some beautiful, beautiful legs. <laughs> Sora, you managed to get up. You got there. Next on the list, we have Acid Drop. Those are very, very thin legs. And those just look like bent straws. Do you get any better on your skin? Not by much. I mean, she does have a little bit of tie here. Those are some nice thick ties. Sorry, Acid Drop. You're gonna stay in sticks. We know that Glaucus has some issues with her legs. So she might not have the opportunity to, to get some muscles at all. And as you can see here, it really shows that she has like barely no meat at all on her legs. She's completely being held on by her by those mechanical legs she has on the sides. I'm sorry, Glaucus, but I understand. You just don't have a way to, to make your legs any stronger. Anyway, next on the list, Dusk. Dusk is a girl that I appreciate very much, but I don't expect much from her legs. <laughs> As you can see here, her sword is thicker than her thighs. I do think Dusk is a beautiful girl, but if we're talking about her legs, she got no chance. Sorry, Dusk. You have no meat on those legs. Go sit with your sister. Actually, no. You hate your sister. You can stay here with the others. Do you have any legs for us, Skyfire? I think her H2 art is gonna save her. The Zero art, it has a little bit going on. You can see some shape. It's a decent pair of legs. Let's look at the skin first, because I am not a big fan of it. It's definitely... A stronger leg. Like, look at it. You can see the fat around her, around her knee. You can see the shape on her thighs. Hmm. I love this, man. 
Those are some beautiful, beautiful legs. Nah, we can put Skyfire in double S. Skyfire, you just got yourself another tier. You can go up, Skyfire. I think so. I think she deserves to be right there. Anyway, next on the list. We have another Durin. Uh, what was his name again? Chestnut. Those are some sticks for legs if I've ever seen them. <laughs> Your each art, just the same thing. Even in his beach skin, he doesn't have much leg to show. I don't think there's any discussion here. Chestnut is definitely a stick. Next on the list, I have another guy. Hung. Two guys in a row. Mm, yeah, if he wears those, those pants in all of his arts, he's not gonna have anything to show. Yeah, each art also has the big baggy pants, and the skin also wears some big pants. Unfortunately, we have nothing to, to rank on Hung, so he gotta be at the bottom of the list. Sitting there with the sticks, Fartuf does have some long legs. Her bird legs are very long. There are definitely some chicken legs as well, because it looks like she has no meat in them. I thought you were a, fi a thick barb. You got nothing on you. Your skin doesn't make much justice for you as well. I'm sorry, Fartuf has nothing to show. Fartuf is gonna sit at the sticks as well. Tsukinogi Tsukinogi, do you have anything to show? That's definitely some shape right there. Her knees are... Her knees are big. You can see the, the curves for the thighs a little bit. Not very much. Yeah, no, her legs have some shape. Similar to Utagi. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, like... She could go higher, because those legs are beautiful. But we are taking into consideration the amount of meat they have on their legs, so she has to stay here, I feel like. Or no. Are those legs better than Ceylon's? Nah, it beat Ceylon. For sure, no, no, no. We can we can have Tsukinogi go up. Tsuki, you deserve to be in barbecue. Okay, next, Courier. Those are some baggy pants you got going on. And, you're, and what you're showing of her legs isn't showing much. It's the same pants on his e art. Courier is just hiding everything. <laughs> he does get some better legs. In his... Music skin. Like, those look like she has some muscle, right? In those ties. His knees got a nice shape. Don't forget to check Courier in Silver Ash skin. <laughs> That's true. We have Courier in Silver Ash's skin as well. Not only Matterhorn. Or should we say, Chadhorn. Because look at that jawline again. There's definitely some muscle on that calf. And those arms as well. He definitely has more muscle than Midnight, but I think he doesn't have enough muscle to compete with Gramps and... And with Broca. He can stay here. Mm, but he does have that muscle that we can see in the Silver Ash art, right? Nah, I will, I will let him be in barbecue. Courier deserves it. Mint got some sticks for legs in Harry Zero art. Harry Two art also has the sticks. In the Dango skin, we see more sticks. You'll stay at the bottom of the list with all of those friends. Will Passenger have anything to show for his name? He's wearing some baggy clothes, some baggy clothes on his e Zero art, on his e Two art. We can't see much as well. Actually, we can see the shape of his legs a little bit, but it doesn't look like he has much power in on those legs. And even in his skin, oh no, we know he has sticks. Again, as we discussed yesterday. If you're able to cross your legs, you're you're neither muscular nor fat. So passenger, because of that you will stay on the sticks. Next, we have April. You should learn a little bit from your bunnies, girl, because those bunnies look a lot thicker than you. <laughs> you did try to show your thighs a little bit, but I don't think this is enough. April just doesn't have anything. Her legs can can be as thin as you can imagine. Vigna also doesn't seem to have anything going on for her. Just look at it. Look how sad her legs are. Her tie got a little bit of more meat here. Her leg in general got a little bit better in this skin. No, I think Vigna definitely has uh, enough shape because of her skins. This is close though. We can put her in the shaped legs. Mostly because of her skins, because her e zero and e two art are just complete sticks. So get in there, Vigna. So heavy rain. You definitely have some sticks. Those are very sad twigs that you have going on. I really don't like to see defenders with twig legs like this just because, you know, they, they should have strong legs to hold the shield in place. Otherwise, they're just gonna be sent flying. 
You are pretty zebra. But you have no legs. There's still people who think Mizuki is a girl. Kinda like Ansel. <laughs> but those are not very, very strong legs you have going on right there, Ansel. I mean, not Ansel, Mizuki. Here, Mizuki has that. He's trying to show a tie spin right here. But I think it's more that his shorts are baggy than his ties are that thick. Definitely those are just simple legs. But I might give Mizuki a tier. Just because I feel like those lines here in his knee and his calves are kinda shapely. I think Mizuki deserves to be in the shaped legs tier. It's just by a little bit, it's not by much. I don't know, those are good legs from the get-go. Like, look at them. Those are juicy legs. Look at this cheating girl hiding her calves and her knees. We can only see her thighs here, which are very juicy for sure. But I mean, even just with her zero art, she does have a lot of meat. Toddy Fons, you deserve a place in the barbecue. Mmm, rope is a complete stick, look at that. If I remember correctly, her legs look better on her skins. Oh no, look, even the Terry 2 arch is already better. She went from having those weird knees that don't make sense and having absolutely no meat on her legs, to just having some normal legs that look delicious. <laughs> those are just shaped legs. She she went back to having the, the weird knees. Okay, the Halloween skin gives her a lot more meat. Look at her thighs, look how thick the artist made them. I think Rope deserves to be in barbecue. That T2 art and that Halloween skin are actually really good. It's time for Kirara. Let's see if the gamer squid has any legs for her name. Those are just sticks, Kirara. Those are clean sticks. That's better. I think you got some shape right there. We can see your calves, your thighs have some shape to them. Nah, I'm gonna give Kirara the shaped legs there because of the... Because of Harry 2 art. Harry 2 art is enough to put her in the shaped legs. If I remember correctly, Shu is a complete, complete branch. She's not, she not only has very stick legs, but only a very, a very flat chest, if I remember correctly. Like, she's just a board. Look, we're not saying she's not a good wife nor anything. But we can't even see her legs, so stay at the bottom. <laughs> she's an aircraft carrier. <laughs> Okay, Meteor just got a new skin for us here on the Yen server, right? But those are not good legs we look at, or at in your E1 art. I mean, not gonna lie, that tie right there looks very muscular. Like, you can see the shape, and this is not a fat shape. This is the shape of muscle being contracted to aim the ball. She's lacking a little bit on her calves, I feel like. But that's a very strong leg. And I'm gonna put Meteor on barbecue. I think that's a fair placement. Okay, looks like we are looking at the Rainbow Six characters now. <laughs> Will we have anything to look at? I can only imagine that they have a lot of protective gear and a lot of pants going on. <laughs> yeah. They are gonna have a lot of pants and, and armor going on. We're not gonna be able to see anything. Which is unfortunate that Chanka has to go to the sticks because he has nothing to show. Those are some sad legs right there. They are not the thin sticks we've seen before, but they have like nothing showing off, you know? Everything is samey. It's consistent all the way through. And on her skin, on her skin they are just... They, they just became the weird sticks that Dark Knight has. I like your zero legs, but to have nothing, sorry Ash. <laughs> Frost definitely has a little bit more width on her tie than Ash, but it looks like it's the same situation where it's like, it's just a normal leg that has no meat to show. <laughs> the entire Rainbow Squad is gonna be a lot of sticks. Since we are intercalating between 5 stars and other rarities, we gotta make Matoi right now, and then we're gonna go back and see. Our last boy, this Mayo man. You kinda got nothing going on in your zero art, Matoi. And you're completely hiding them in your E2 art. I'm sorry, Matoi. I love you a lot. You're one of the first characters I raised and stuff, but you got no legs. That's really sad for both of us. Blitz also should have more musculature. Because look at that shield. I think the thing with the Rainbow Six characters is because 
since they are based off the Rainbow Six characters, the game, not the, 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 the ones in Dark Knights, they have this more realistic body type, you know? So they don't really have those bulgy ass thighs that just have a lot of muscle, like a kind of meteor head, or kind of like Gramps Heligor has. Even, hey, even their arms aren't that strong. So I think this, this, the fact that they have this realistic shape to them doesn't give them much chance. And here we can't see anything. They are normal. But in our context here, they are just sticks. <laughs> Sairaha does have some shape here, but it doesn't look very good. Mm, yeah, even here. Her legs are long, but they don't have much, much meat. They are defined. You can see that her knee is very well defined. You can see that her calves have a nice curve to them. Even her ankles aren't that thin. But she got absolutely no tie. It's like a very... It's a shaped and very thin leg. Yeah, it's impressive for a girl with these long legs to have some meat at all. Okay, thanks to your... Beach skin? You got there, Sairaha. Ashlock is the next on the list. What do we have here? Not much. We can see a little bit of her ties. Not much else. Just that tiny little bit of squish right there. What is wrong with the defenders, man? The defender should have such strong legs. She has no shape here. All we can see is a little bit of her ties. I think we're gonna have to put her in the sticks. Because she just has nothing showing, really. You can't make up the shape of her calves, even. So it's just a stick. Then we have the, the other one from Pine of Sylvester's. <laughs> Wild man, you're another horse with no legs. <laughs> Wait, this is such a sad curvature. Look at that. She has absolutely nothing going on. You can't see a single wrinkle on her thigh. And her calf doesn't exist. This is the saddest bend we've seen so far. This skin looks a lot better. This looks like a normal leg. Like, look at it. She has that little bit of fat around her knee. Her calf has some shape. And she has some, some curves here on her thighs. I think the, the skin legs are good enough for Wild Mane to go to the shaped legs tier. She, she made it, I feel like. I'm not a big fan of Irene, as everyone knows. But I will rate her legs fairly. We can see some shape on her legs here on her zero art. I don't think this is enough for me to put her into the shaped legs tier. It's close, but this is close below. So she's gonna stay as a stick for me. Being there, Rin. Chorus Serum, the snack boy, and his very long legs that are just branches. Hmm, he has got nothing going on his U0 art. Even at his E2 art. He has no shape. And he has the incredible legs crossed. Unfortunately, we have no meat on your legs. Which is fine. Pure String had the, has that, side si that, that sad situation where her bottom legs are not great. But she has the thick thighs. <laughs> ah, what do I do with these ops? Every time, I'm like, what do I do now? I'm willing to put Pure String to the Shaped Legs tier. Even though it looks a little bit weird here. When you look at her skin, the legs look a little bit more consistent all the way throughout. Even if she's not as powerful on the tie department, I think this is a nice shape. If she had just a little bit more on her knees, her calves, then she would be barbecue. But as she is right now, she stays in the Shaped Legs. I kind of have some hopes for Kazemaru. We're gonna have to see though. <laughs> oh no, what do we do now? She has two pairs of legs. She's too powerful. She does have some fat on her legs on the skin. The knee gets some fat around it. The calves are nicely shaped. The ankles are in nice size. We can't see much of her tie, but you can see that this pen, this pen is quite wide at the top. I think because of your skin... Uh, I think I'll have to leave you at barbecue, because you're kind of comparable to Robin. 
Gnosis definitely has some shape on his legs from this Z0 art. Like, those pants are not baggy. You can see that they are very close to his body. This is kind of like Courier, I feel like. What about your skin? Now your skin is worse. If we go... If we go to Gnosis, we gotta go by... His Z0 and the two arts. I think it can be easy here together with Midnight. They kind of have some shape to their legs. Anyway, let's go next. Aurora! We're finally at Aurora. What do you have to us for us, Aurora? Off the bat, those are some nice ties. Although that ankle though, that ankle is sad. You better get that sorted out, Aurora. Look, in the two arts she lost some tie power. Oh, you can see that's a little bit of squish there because of that... Because of that belt. Legs are nerfed after E0. Yep, those are her best legs. And her ankles are still a weakness all throughout. Still, man. Still think it's at least comparable to Cylon. I think she deserves to be there. Yara! Those are some sad, sad legs. Yeah, her calves get more shape. Her knees here were just a small ball, which is kind of weird. In here they are a little bit better. So Yara, you found yourself a place in the shapely legs tier. Okay, we're gonna rank Podenko. We're just gonna believe that she's not a kid. Not so sure about your easier art, Podenko. We still have two arts to go through, so I'm not gonna think too much about this. Because you do have so, some curve on your calves. But your thighs have absolutely no volume at all. She has some calves, but the rest of the leg is just a stick, so I don't think I can bring her off of the stick tier. So, Podenko, for just having calves and nothing else, you are a stick. Next on the list, Ling. Okay, from the get-go, you get some nice meat here. Look at those juicy legs. Ling is good even from her E0 art. That's nice. I don't think it's as powerful as Harry Zero. I think Harry Zero has more energy to it. But it's it's some beautiful legs on it too. It feels like the the most powerful legs Nyan's gonna have. Uh, I mean Ling is gonna have is gonna be in Harry Zero art, because Harry's first skin here, not looking that great. So look at that. We actually have someone else going to the double S tier. Ah, <laughs> that's a good one. E Zero art. Doesn't look that bad. Definitely some shapely, shapely legs for Honeyberry. Yeah, same thing for Harry 2 art. Definitely getting to that second tier. Honeyberry definitely has some beautiful legs and I love them. But she can't climb to barbecue. She's gonna sit here in some shape. Is always nice. Irene has absolutely no chance. All of his arts are just complete twigs. And he's just gonna sit here as sticks for legs. Mooberry is another one that I have high hopes, kind of like for Honeyberry. But I don't think her legs are going to be that good. Yeah, look. She has some shape. Not the best thighs. Not the best the calves. It actually looks a little bit worse. At least her ankles don't get that much thinner, which is good. I love her legs on this skin, but just paying attention right now and comparing to the others. This just looks like a stick. I think Mulberry is close, but she also deserves to be in the shapely legs tier. She has some shape, it's not much, but I think she barely clears it. Next on the list, we have another girl that a lot of people like. Especially on her release, people couldn't stop talking about how thirsty they were for penis. So let's see if her legs keep up for with the with the clout. Those legs on Harry Zero Art don't have much shape at all. She doesn't have thighs. She only has calves again. We've put girls with only calves in the stick tiers. Harry 2 Art doesn't look that much better. Honestly. She doesn't have the detail on her left sock here for some reason. I think I'm gonna put her in sticks just because her thighs are sad. Her knees are sad. Her calves are okay, I guess. But nah, she doesn't have enough. She lacks meat. She lacks some fat on those legs. 
Stay in the sticks, girl. Okay, we finally got to the three star altar girls. We can finally have a look at them. Now, Lava Altar is not a kid, and we can look at her legs. Although, Zero Art doesn't, doesn't do her justice. Look at those sticks. Doesn't get much better. It's still the same sticks. But her skin, though! Now we're talking. Now, look at that. She has more leg than Cylon for sure, so yeah. No, it's not even a question. Lava Altar is barbecue tier. Now, Pinecone. I always say how Pinecone has some powerful legs. But I think if we just compare to the to the rest of the people in the list, she's not gonna have the best legs in the world. For the simple reason that she does have some squish, <laughs> but the rest of her legs would look kinda sad here on the easy art. Man, I'm getting sad already. Am I, go am I gonna have to put Pinecone in the sticks tier? I always say how she's fake. <laughs> this skin is so beautiful. But if you just pay attention to the legs, they are just wet noodles. <laughs> Look at that. I'm so sad for you, Pinecone. I will never forget how much I love your thickness. But for this tier list, you have to be in the sticks for legs. Now, Cruise Alter. I think Cruise Alter is probably gonna get up there as well, right? Because look at those legs, my boy. The legs are are not completely consistent all throughout, but she has enough meat on the bottom half where I'm okay with this. Cruz is going into the barbecue tier, together with Lava. Let's go, next on the list. We have the hungry dog, Saga. And she's hiding her legs. Wait, we have a little bit of a window right there. <laughs> and we have her right ankle. And that's it. Hmm. <laughs> That's some sticks if I've ever seen some. Saga, unfortunately, you're just a stick. Hibiscus, hibiscus. Is she gonna have enough legs to stay up there in barbecue together with her friends? It is definitely a shaped leg, but I'm not sure if this has enough meat for barbecue. Kinda wanted all the three star altars to be together in the same tier. But clearly we can't do that. And hibiscus, barely clearing the sticks. Now, she didn't barely clear the sticks, but she didn't have enough meat to become barbecue. So she's just staying in the sticks for in the nicely shaped legs. I've said this many times before, but Indigo has my favorite legs in the entire game. The problem is, I'm gonna have to put her in sticks. There is just nothing I can do. She just doesn't have it. Indigo just has sticks. We can't put this any any higher than sticks. Those are just two bent straws right there. Size doesn't matter. Too beautiful. I agree. But this is not what we're going for here. We're just going for thickness. You gotta have muscle or fat to be up high. We have a lot of beautiful legs here on sticks. And I'm really sad that I have to put my favorite legs here. But, but it must be done. We have Fang out here now. And looks like she's cheating with some baggy pants. Come on, Fang. Just because you're a horse girl doesn't mean you gotta uh, hide your legs. You should show us at least your strong thighs. That's what... That's what some of the other horses did. But you, since you hide yourself like that, they can't do anything to help you, Fang. You gotta go to sticks. Palace. You think this is stick? This looks shaped to me. Her knees look a little bit weird, but if her knees just get a little bit more fat, this should be a, a nice respectable leg. <laughs> we have this weird bent on her two art going on. <laughs> look how wet this noodle is. <laughs> We're gonna have to put Palas in sticks. She barely got there. I had my doubts, but she doesn't have it. I know people love La Pluma's legs, but I don't think she has any meat to her. Look at the size of those sticks right there. <laughs> Look at that bent straw. La Pluma is unfortunate, but you also have to go to sticks. Another one that people love. People love La Pluma's legs. But she doesn't have any meat in them. Next is Pudin. I think Pudin has some chance. Pudin might even be a barbecue. Not in her zero art though. Those are just some shapely legs. Yeah, that's definitely some meat right there. Although, why does her left calf look thinner than her right calf? This is some nice uh, size and shape. 
I think this clears Ceylon for sure. That's why I was thinking that this is probably barbecue. Let's go pudding. Being there. You deserve it. I don't think those small muscles are gonna take you out of sticks. Um, I don't think I can give you too much. Ooh, your skin just makes it worse. His skin, his, in his skin, he's just a pair of chopsticks. I'm sorry, tequila. Sorry, tequila, but you're gonna have to stay in sticks. Someone just said that the pain also has to be in sticks. And I can see why. Look how thin this guy is. Like, look at it. We call chopsticks in... We call a lot of legs chopsticks, but this guy gets it over the top. Pepe also you got yourself a place right here at the bottom. What about Mr. Nothing? I think Mr. Nothing has a chance to rank very high. Hmm, is Iris just a bunch of baggy pants? That's not great. We don't see much. He still has some bags here, just hiding his calves. We get a glimpse of his thighs though. We can see the width of his thighs at least. We actually can't see much of his legs. I was thinking that he would have a chance because I remember that he looks super jacked in this skin. Just look at the chest on this man. You could have a chance, Mr. Nothing, if you decide to show your legs. But since you didn't, you're gonna have to stay in sticks. Cheaters don't get to win. Our beautiful Otter Roberta. She's only showing has her ankles on her zero art, on her E2 art. We also can't see anything besides her ankles. That's some meat right here. But I don't think this is enough to put her in barbecue. This, is, this puts her into the shapely legs. She has some nice shaped legs. Mostly because of her swimsuit skin. If it wasn't for the bikini, she would probably just be a stick. If it's a snack boy, he probably has just twigs, right? I mean, his legs are... his pants are not that baggy, but he doesn't have much leg. This is kinda like tequila, so this doesn't save him. And his skin isn't any better. Sorry, Shalen. Be there with all the other snacks. Flame tail. The girl that was voiced by the girl that voiced Hairuhi. And those are some big sticks. Nah, not really. You got a little bit of tie. But just a little bit of tie won't save you. Your ties are decent. But other than that, you're just a stick. I'm sorry, Flametail. Yep, that's a total dress. Or a skirt. It's a skirt. Same with the H2 art. And same with the skin. Cheaters, don't get to rank high. Stay at the bottom, Nine Color Deer. Totter might have some muscular legs. Let's see. He definitely has some ties on his E0. There's are some muscular legs, maybe not too much, but he has some muscle going on. Is this entire right part here his, his part of his leg? Because that's a big calf. He has some muscle. This is definitely better than Midnight. Totter actually has some muscle. He's gonna rank higher. He's gonna be in barbecue for sure. Ask Jin. Do you have the same genetics as your sister? Nah, that's just a bent straw right there. And that twig on the left on the left leg. Oh, those are some nice legs. I did buy this skin because it's super pretty. And we have Quercus right here for some reason. But those are sticks if I've ever seen some. So there you go, Astigia. Be on sticks. Dorothy. I expect Dorothy to have no legs at all. Even in her zero art, this already has some shape. Her knees have some fat in them, she has the, the curve on the calves, the thighs are there. This doesn't really look like a stick, I don't think so. It should, actually looks like a little bit le less powerful than E0. I guess just because she's showing less skin. I think she can be in the shaped legs, but just because of the E0 art. It's not because of the skin at all. It's because of the E0 art. So because of it... You go to the shapely legs. Next on the list, Cantabile. Hmm, she has a little bit of fat, but she lacks shape. It's like, it's a thick leg, but it's just a thick stick. That's definitely some nice stuff here. She has the thighs, the knees are a nice size. The calves don't exist though. Uh, if she had a little bit more calf, I could put her in barbecue because of this art, but I don't think I can. 
I kind of want to put her higher because this is a very good pair of ties right here. But I just can't. She just doesn't have the lower leg. I'm sorry, Cantabile. You do have the shape, though. You can be happy right there. Next on the list is Humus. Doesn't look like he has much musculature. He does have the calf. Look at that calf curvature. The tie does have a better look on the E2 art here because of the pose. And he is a strong man. He doesn't really show that much. But I mean, that's fine. If it showed a lot, it, he would go in double S. He can stay here together with Broca, together with Gramps and Courier. So Humus, my guy, you can be another barbecue. I think we all know that Minimalist is just gonna have a bunch of sticks. Sticks for legs! Most of the Durin have sticks for legs. Yeah, look at those bent straws. No, no meat in there at all. You got nothing going on, oh Minimalist. Stay in there. Next one. We have Lee right now. Bag pants only zero. Bag pants only two. Come on, Mr. Magikarp man. Show some leg. The world wants to see it. Okay, you did. And they are sticks. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep, sticks for legs. He had no chance. Next, Black Knight. Mm, those are not, not nice legs. Those are just straight legs, very stick. You're trying to get yourself out with your poles, but you got no meat. I can't put her high. She does have beautiful legs, but they are just sticks. Bent straws. She has no shape. She has absolutely no meat. It is lovely, though. It is. But you won't fall for those sticks. <laughs> exactly. All sticks must be purged. Sent into the sticks for legs tier. God damn it. Look at the size of this tier. Like, what is wrong with this? <laughs> oh, man. It's like... The same number of operators in Sticks for Legs is in the rest of the list. <laughs> it's even more a little bit. They tried putting the squish right there. But she has not enough but she doesn't have enough meat for the squish. <laughs> That's some sticks if I've ever seen them. Mm, yeah, and like that doesn't have anything else in the H.O. art. Those legs are very straight and very thin. Even if they try to give her the squish. She is just another sticks for legs. Time for Golden Glow. Mm, from the get go, she does have a nice shape. All throughout, it looks like a balanced pair of legs, and she does have some squish. I like it. She lost a little bit of power on the E2 art. The, from knees below, she, she kind of lost all the meat she had, and they just gave her more squish. Not ideal. Not ideal to climb on the ranks. Yeah, those are not very powerful legs, but they definitely have the shape. Some beautiful thighs, some beautiful calves. Her ankles look a little bit small though. I think all I can give Golden Glow is a nicely shaped deer. She just doesn't have enough meat to be a Cylon. Quirkus looks like Leone from... Akamegakyo. And she has baggy pants. And ankles. <laughs> A lot of operators just show their ankles together with baggy pants. Nah, man. I thought Quercus would be more powerful than this, but Quercus definitely has just sticks for legs. And she's gonna be left there. Unfortunate for you. Quercus has some sticks for legs on her zero art. What about your E2 art? Not much better. Your your tie got a little bit of a, of a buff. Got a little bit of shape right there. But this is not enough meat to beat even Warfarin. We're gonna have to put quartz on sticks for legs as well. Paprika is a cute bumpkin, but those knees are so sad. Look at the size on those things. <laughs> it looks like they could bend in every direction. Looks like Paprika is gonna have that situation where we, sh we kind of want to put her high because her thighs are delicious, but we can't. Because those knees, those calves, and those ankles make absolutely no sense. It's unfortunate, Paprika. You do have some ties, but the rest of her legs just don't have it. You gotta be at the bottom. Next, we have the fire chicken, the fried chicken, the fat duck herself. Pianeta! 
Tiamita is called the fat duck. But does she have the legs? Damn. Why do why do CN call you fat duck, girl? You got nothing going on. Like, who would want to eat some drumsticks like that? Please, Yameta, go ask the CN people why they call you fat duck. Because you have no fat. Can he just hide in his legs? Those are... Or no? No, those, those pants are not baggy enough, but we can't see his thighs because of his very big shorts. So we could only see his... His calves here. And they are not very big anyway. On his true art, he doesn't get much better. Nah, man. If you can close your leg like that, and your calves don't just squish to the side, it's because you don't even have calves. So, Kanye Plot, you're a complete stick. Just go there. Lutonada doesn't have anything going on. What about your two art, Lutonada? Oh yeah, remember liking these legs a lot? But look how thin they are! Unfortunately, since they are thin like this, you're going just in sticks for legs. Those are some sad legs, Almon. Come on. I know you're small and everything, but you can eat more than this. Unfortunately, Almon, your chihuahua legs are just sticks for legs. Does Horn have good legs? Doesn't look like it from Harry Zero Art. Those are very straight branches. It's Art. We can barely make out her right leg. And even then, it's not a good sight. At least here you got some calves, you got some shape. Your tie doesn't look that powerful, but you definitely have some tie meat right there. Her legs got some nice shape on her skin. So she deserves to be here. Some shape is always nice. Next is Rock Rock. I have expectations for Rock Rock. Let's see if she's thick enough. She does have some ties, but again, same problem. What about the knees and below? <laughs> they forget about the knees and below! It barely clears Warfari. You can stay in the shaped legs, Rock Rock. It's close. Now, the single operator that everybody has been waiting for since we, became, since we started this. <laughs> Kaper is right here. Of course, from the get-go, we see some nice shape. We see that fat around that, that knee. We see that nice ankle right there, we have a little bit of width. We see the curves of the calves, just getting the meat in there. Her thighs, her thighs are strong, but not that powerful. Now we're talking. Those are some powerful legs all throughout. Look at that. That thigh right there, very meaty, very powerful. Those calves, look at the curvature. Look how much her thigh squishes on her calf. Now the question is, is this enough to actually be at the very top? We can compare. For example, we can look here at Swire, because Swire I think it's the best representative in double S. And we can look at like, Eonex and Shiny. And we can see if Caper gets to be at the top. Hmm. How did Eonex get to triple S again? I'm starting to doubt the uh, your next positioning. Nah, man. I think Caper goes to triple S. But I feel like your next gotta go down to double S. It took a long time, but we gotta do this. We gotta change your next down and we gotta put Caper at the top. What do you guys think about Heidi's legs? That's some nice calf. That's some nice ankles. This already looks like a very shapely leg. Then we look at her two art. And we can't make much out of it because she's just hiding everything. Mm, and then you have her skin. What do we do about those beautiful, beautiful legs? Because this is definitely her best leg. I think she gotta be at the barbecue. Because then she has some nice competition like bagpipe. Weedy, you know, I don't think she gets to barbecue Because she beats, she beats Silo. What about the wet boy? Lumen. I guess this is enough to put him into the shape tier, right? It looks like his legs have some shape. You can see his thighs here, they have some nice thickness to them. 
He's more kind of like Midnight. So he can be here. I think it's good enough. Okay, time for the other Dogo boy. Those are baggy pants. We can't see anything. Actually, we can see that his color, that his ankles are very, very thin. Not looking good for you, Winflet. He clearly has some muscle going on here on his Ichu. Look at this squeeze between his calf and his thigh right there. Look at this strong muscle here. This line. Windfleet, your Ichu art brings you all the way up to barbecue, for sure. You gotta, you have the same amount of muscle that the other boys up here have. It's kind of impressive, to be honest. <laughs> Rate his dog. <laughs> He's a good boy out of 10. <laughs> That's my rate on the dog. It's time for Uncle Horse. Those are some very straight legs. Long twigs, you one could say. And his skin doesn't change anything. <laughs> At least he's consistent, but he has absolutely no shape to his legs. We're gonna put Winner in the sticks for legs because he absolutely has no legs. We're gonna leave him together with his family. Who's next? Erato is the next on the list. Those are not the most powerful legs for someone who who takes her name from the goddess Eros. We don't see much here. We mostly see her calf, her ankle, and the shape of the thigh here, but not much to go over. Then we have a little bit more to see. Look at that pose. She knows you're looking. She wants you to look. Mm, not the best line for the calves, honestly. But I think the E Zero art is actually more shaped than the skin. Erato gets some nice shape, but she just doesn't have enough meat to become a barbecue. Stainless, stainless. From the get go, it looks like we have some muscle on that thigh, but I'm not impressed. This is quite a pose for him to show his muscles, but they are not very strong. Yeah, but he does have some shape in this skin. Like, look. It's a pretty knee. It's some nice ankles, some nice calves, and of course, a little bit of muscle on those thighs. Stanley has some shape in those legs, mostly because of his skin. Baggy pants, Zern is a cheater, Ichu art, same thing. <laughs> mm, we could make some shape out of this, but I'm not impressed. Look at this little critter though. Stay there, cheater man. That's a weird shape on your knee. Your knee's kinda going outwards. <laughs> but I mean, your legs are shaped, even though they are very thin. It's kinda like Durin legs. But now you're in the situation where your calves didn't, didn't accompany your thighs. Proviso does have some shape, so she can be here. Next on the list, Vigil. I don't think Vigil has any chance. I think the wolf boy is just gonna be a total stick. Look how thin that tie is. If I had a tie that thin, I wouldn't be able to stand up. Yeah, Vigil has absolutely no chance with those legs. He's a total stick. If I remember correctly, Haimar has very pretty legs, but her legs are just sticks as well. They always try to hide the sticks with a little bit of squish up the, at the top, but this ain't it, man. They are very, very thin. You can, you can barely even make her calves. She has a little bit of tie, but I don't think this is enough to bring her out of the sticks. I'll give it to her, just because her... Her calf has a little bit more of a curve than Warfarin. Yeah, it is a little bit better. You can be... In the shaped legs tier, Haimor. You have some shape. Flint doesn't have very strong legs. Kinda sad, after all, she's a boxer. How can a boxer not have muscles? The tie is kinda there, it kinda has a curve, but I don't think it's a powerful tie. It's more like a tie that makes sense. She can stay as sticks for legs. Just being there, Flint. Next on the list, Lin. You do get some ties in the each ward. Your knees look kinda nice, but you don't have the curvature on your calves. I don't think I can give Lin more than sticks. She did get a little bit of thigh and a little bit of knee, but she doesn't have the calf curve. She can't be up. That's unfortunate. Luna Cub's another one that's probably just gonna be a full, full out stick. Like, there's no way she she climbs up because she's very thin. Look at that non-squish on her right leg right there. 
That's a sad non squish. She has a bit of meat. Not enough though. She can stain sticks for legs. Next is Chongus. Chongus should have some powerful legs, right? After all, he's a martial artist. Hmm. But if he has muscles, he's hiding them off with those baggy pants. And even his, his skin has some baggy pants. Chongus, you're a cheater. As punishment, you'll stay at the stakes for legs tier. Harmony. Easy art, nothing going on, just some sticks. Also, not really anything going on. You can't even see the squish on the right leg. That's kinda sad. Now, this skin has some better legs. You can see a little bit more shape, you can see some better curves. Her tie kinda looks like a little bit more... She, she has a little bit more fat on her tie. We can put the smug cat in barbecue. She's just a little bit better than Cylon. Next, Chubai. Mm-hmm, that's a nice tie you have right there. That's a nice line for your calves. Your knee doesn't look weird. The H2 art really accentuates her thighs. And I don't think she loses too much on the lower half. I think we can only give her a nice shape. She just doesn't have enough of a balance to be clear in silo. Next on the list is Puzzle. More man sticks. More twigs for legs. <laughs> More straws. Very, very long straws. No chance for you. Sorry, boy. A very unbalanced start. Only ties are not gonna take you very far in this. We've seen this before. That bottom half of her legs, not okay. Like, sure, she might have the ties, but that's not enough. Hmm, this is very unfortunate for Ines because... Personal preference. Yeah, probably. I think that this really depends on the whole body. You gotta hate the beauty standards of Korea then. Well, yeah, I do. Hmm, <laughs> we had another leg that was, that was that same situation, that had just sticks at the bottom and some ties, which I think was like Neral. So Ines just gotta be here, together with them. Because it is super weird to have legs that make no sense from the knee below and just have a bunch of tie. This does not exist. This is weird. Legs are just one part of the whole body. Waiting for her, Typhoon. Meteorite was dire for that. Yeah, Meteorite as well. But somehow she's still in here. Oh well. Fire Whistle certainly has just a bunch of sticks in her zero art, but then we have her two art, where she just shows her ass and that one leg. That's some nice shape. She got some musculature here. Those muscles that are giving her some shape. Mm, does this clear Cylon? This might be barbecue. She might be a little bit thicker than, than Hyde even. I think our fire whistle deserves to be in barbecue. Yeah, no, she has some muscle. She has those good legs. Mm, the the other Rainbow Six Ops. I don't remember their names, but you can have a look at them. They are probably gonna be in sticks for legs as well. Just because all of them, just like the others, are kind of more in a humanoid perspective. They they look more realistic. That's what I'm trying to say. And since they look realistic, their legs are probably not that muscular. They they probably don't have that much fat. And also they all wear a lot of pants and armor. So we can't really even rank a lot of them. Yana, Doc, Fuse and the other one. Uh, Yana is the dog keeper. We can see the shape of her legs. But again, they look like realistic legs. So they are not really gonna have too much shape, I feel like. Look at that. Yana does show a little bit of her legs here. This actually looks like a lot more in the Arcanite's style. But it's the problem where she only has ties. Actually, Doc might get a tear up. It, he might be the solely one going up a rank. Just because he, he's not wearing that bag of pants. And he looks like he has some muscle. Like, look at that tie. No, 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 this guy is strong. This guy didn't skip a single leg day, and he's trying to show us. Doc mates up to barbecue. You can't be there, my man. <laughs> ela, ela, ela. 
You just have ties again. This is nice. Ella does have some shape. Ella will also make it out of the the sticks for legs here because she's kind of showing her 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 lines, her shapes. It's not much, but it's honest work, as we've said before. Look at that! Two of the Rainbow Six Ops made it out. All the others are there, mostly because of wearing pants. Time for the flying snake, though. Oh, Haya. Oh, Haya definitely has some shape. The position fixes it a little bit, but it still has very thin ankles that are kinda weird. You wouldn't really expect a leg to work like this. Mm, I think we're gonna have to rate her together with Meteorite, because it's the exact same situation. This goes whatever... Here, whatever Meteorite is, they're kinda the same. Jayun, she has some baggy pants, but she's showing the leg anyway, <laughs> and it's just a stick. She's the most honest stick leg owner so far. <laughs> she hides the legs, but she shows them anyway. At least you didn't lie to us like everybody else using baggy pants. Thanks for that. It's none other than the evil woman that everybody loves. Well, one of them. Most size. Do you show your legs at all, most size? That's not nothing we can go with. That's also nothing we can go with. And that's just a bunch of sticks. Well, I don't know if it was her choice or not, but she is a stick. Okay, next. The five star call. The second five star call. Or maybe the third. I don't remember how many calls there are. Here, wind chimes. That's her name. She does have those Scuddy pant, window, pant windows right there. It's even a little bit bigger than Scuddy's. But her legs don't look like they have shape at all. Which is sad because this is another girl that should be very muscular. Hmm, what do you guys think here? Does this clear wirefighting? Because she had got some tie. Her calves are not that impressive, but they definitely have some shape. Her knee is not bad. I think we can put her in the shape of tier. The muscles were enough, wind chimes. You got yourself into the nicely shaped legs tier. Next is Valor Queen. That looks like a nice leg. It's not much, but it's honest work, as we've said before. And it's kind of the same for the true art. I think I'm gonna just put Valor Queen the shaped, shaped legs tier. Because they look nice. She just doesn't have any power in them, but... Those legs definitely look nice. Next is Typhoon. We all know what Typhoon is known for. It's not for her legs. Hmm. She definitely has some squish going on. Her knees don't look that bad. Her ankles are awful though. Those ankles just don't make sense. They are way too thin compared to the rest of her legs. Her legs do look a little bit weird on her skin. I don't really like her legs on her skin. But I think for this tier list purposes, this actually brings her higher. Because her entire leg gets a little bit of fat. She doesn't have the weird ankles anymore. Her calves have a nice shape. Her knees have some nice fat around them. And her thighs are just that squishy. I don't really appreciate the legs on her skin. But she definitely has it. Although, wait. Is this squishy enough to be a legendary? Wait a second, because this is for sure comparable to Swire. Look at it. Engrave Typhoon's ties in your, in your head. Not only her ties, but her legs. Engrave it. Carve it into your eyes. Okay, now that you did that, tell me that they are not the same. No, 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 no. We have another one. In the legendary tier. Typhoon made her way all the way to the top. Next is Santala. Those like nicely shaped. They are, they are quite thin honestly. But they don't look weird. You know? Mm, she kinda loses shape on her true art because of the way she's straightening her legs. I feel like at the zero she had better calves. But I don't think she gets to barbecue. Even though those legs are beautiful. 
beautifully shaped legs. Let's just leave here. Mm, time for Aya Alter. We didn't look at Aya early because Aya is a kid, but Aya Alter is not a kid anymore. Mm, not impressed by your E0 legs, Aya. But I guess you do have some shape to them at least. It kinda got worse. Your calves got thinner. Your thighs just kinda lost proportion, really. I'm just trying to decide if I have any reasons to put her in stick, but I don't think so. I think she can she just has some nicely shaped legs, even though they are not that big. You know, they have some shape to them, and that's fine. So A outer. Oh. Wait, where did I drop you? Oh, here you are. Yeah, that, that's not the, the A, alright? Yeah, because the other A is here. Perfect. AM, you have some nice shape to your legs. They're not the best, but it's honest work. Cement! Very sticky legs in E0. Very sticky legs in E2. Unfortunately, you just don't have enough shape on your legs, Cement. Next is Morgan. Those are some very baggy, weird things that I don't know what they are. Are those like socks or something? We can't give her anything else because if she has anything her on her calves, she's just hiding them. Sorry, Morgan. If you have any power going on, we can't see it. You're just hiding. Next is Mommy Elena, or as everyone calls her, Cold Shot. You do have some ties, but you're running into the issue where we can't see your calves and your knees kind of look skinny on your easier art. The problem here is we can't see her calves at all. We can only see a little bit of her thigh. We can't do anything when they're cheating. Sorry, Cold Shot. It pains me more than anyone else to do this to you. But you are a cheater. What about Pozionka? She's kinda late on the list. She should have been ages ago, but it's okay. We're gonna look at her now. Beautiful, beautiful legs. But I'm not sure if this clears. This is some good legs. Her skin has some nice shape. At least. Thanks to your skin, Pozionka. You go straight into barbecue, barely clearing silo. Melanite has sticks for legs. Look at those sad, sad knees right there, just showing all the bone. You just don't have meat. You are not the first to not have meat. It's okay. You can clear into the shape tier. Hold there. What about your legs? Those are legs, all right? Strong legs. Okay. Now he's just showing all his muscles to us. He just said, no, 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 no. Come here. Have a look. Those muscles are too powerful. Look at those calves. Those calves could break my skull with a kick. Those thighs could break my skull with a kick. But definitely not watermelons. You can be here at Legendary together with Matterhorn. It makes sense. Spurium. Those are very sticky legs. And the true art. Doesn't do much better. I have nothing to say to you, Spuria. Straight into sticks for legs. Virtuosa. Hmm, those legs are very, very thin. But the shape is there. The thing is, she doesn't have a simple sticks. Like, she has all the curves on her legs. She just doesn't have any meat. Just because of those curves, she makes it out of the sticks for... Sticks for legs. Now, Briofta. Any chance for this guy? Ooh, he does have some muscle. Out of the gate. I don't think he has enough muscle to, to compete in barbecue, but he definitely has enough muscle to compete in, in the shapely legs. Definitely doesn't have the same musculature that these guys here in the barbecue have, but he can be in the shaped leg. He does have some muscle. Next is Ascalon. Beautiful legs from the start. That's some nice shape, nothing wrong with her legs at all. I mean, I guess her knee looks a little bit weird. I don't think I can put you in barbecue, but you can definitely make it out of the sticks for legs and into the... and into the... shaped legs. What about Enforcer? Pin legs in here is easy to art. Doesn't get much better in it too. Nah... Those legs don't clear warfighting at all. Enforcer... Oh wait. You're right, it's not Enforcer. Who is that guy then? Enforcer goes for sticks. 
And who is this guy? We're gonna have to figure it out now. Insider, there you go. Baggy Pants is a cheater. On top of being forgettable is a cheater. Come on. Next, Viviana. Her art has a lot of stuff going on. I don't think we're gonna be able to see her legs properly. She kinda has a calf line right there. But then her thigh, I don't know, it's weird because we can't really see her knee. We can barely make out her, her thigh right there. Her calf is kinda visible, but we can't make out everything. She does have the shape. But since it's so cluttered, I don't think we can make her go higher. So let's just leave her in the shape it legs there. Next, Ponsairus. Who I learned it is pronounced Ponsairus and not Ponchurus like I always said before. You have no thighs, your knees are thin, you do have some calves. She does have calves, but that's about it. The rest of the legs are just sticks. The left leg is a wet noodle and the right leg is a bent straw. <laughs> Sorry Ponsairus. Go to the bottom of the list. Next, Lessin. Hmm, we can't see his legs at all in his zero art because of this big coat that he's wearing. In his e two art, we can see a little bit of his legs. And it looks like he has absolutely no shape to his leg because look at this curve here. And look how we can't see his calf at all. Just being there together with all the others. They don't even fit in one screen. That's how many of them they are. <laughs> Next on the list is Vandela. She does have thighs, and you can make out the shape of her legs. So she does have shaped legs. The question now is, is this good enough for barbecue? The knees are good. The ankles have a nice width. The calves are very good. And she does have very thick thighs. Vandela will make out the barbecue. That that T2 art is very good. And Delphine looks like she has just sticks for legs. They tried to give her a little bit of tie. Delphine suffers from the same issue we've seen before again. Although look at this mother cat with a eye patch carrying the, the little kitty. That's cute. But anyway, those ties are powerful, but you just don't have anything to go with them. And you don't even have a second asset to go with it, so we can put you together with Meteorite. I think I actually have to put you in sticks for legs, even though you have some ties. The game's a tall woman. And has some beautiful legs. Hmm... She does have some muscle. Like, her, her legs don't have fat. She's a strong woman, she has muscle. It's a shame Erato doesn't have better legs. They're gorgeous legs, but they're sticks. Where, where is the, where is the each art? I don't understand why some of the each arts just go off screen. Hmm. Yeah. All the shape that she had in her E zero art is kind of gone here at E two. They just left some width on her thighs. If we rank it, gotta be here in the E zero art. She just, she does have the shape though. You can see the muscle. She just, she does have the shape. Those muscles are there to be seen. Even though, not that big of a muscle, you know? Okay, let's look at Diamante now. I don't think this clears Warfarin at all. She, he just doesn't have quite enough. He's close, but not there. Sorry, Diamant. You have sticks for legs as well. The best part of Ray. Is the capybara she summons. But what about her legs? Very long legs. Very long legs that you can make out of the, all the shapes. Yeah, she doesn't get much more powerful than that. She definitely has shape on her legs, but she's she doesn't have all the, the all the meat that you would expect. So just get in there, right? Bezline is very young though. So he probably has absolutely no legs to speak of. Yeah, not even calves. So best line, you got promoted to having sticks for legs because we found out that you're not a kid. Next one's Harold. Oh, you have a prosthetic. You're gonna be good friends with Vulcan at the bottom of the list. We can see the entire line of his leg and it really doesn't have that much meat. Not shapely enough. 
Vulcan competition. Nah, not really. They are gonna be friends because they have prosthetics, but Vulcan still has the thinnest leg in the entire game. Wait, Juli is a kid as well, isn't he? Or is he old enough already? Let's see, let's say that Juli is a kid. He's an adult. Then he's disqualified because he has baggy pants. Look at that dress right there. Next is Green Buds. It looks like you have some shape, but I'm not convinced yet. She has some thickness on the thighs, she has some thickness on the calves. Okay, you convinced me, you convinced me. Green Buds, you can be in the shaped legs tier. Next on the list, the new Vanguard uh, flag bear. One chain. And looks like we got another cheater right here, because look at those baggy pants. Too much cloth going on. Disqualified. Now, logos. Not as thin as Eben Oz or, or Vigil, but very, very thin. It just has two branches instead of legs. Sticks for legs! As much as I like this character. Castro. We can make out her calf. Her tie is quite nice. Her knee looks a little bit weird, but it's... It's okay. I think she has enough to come out of the sticks for legs tier, but she doesn't have enough meat to go any higher than the shaped legs. I think Oda just has baggy pants and we can't make out his legs on her on that T0 art. Even here in the H2 art, everything is kinda cluttered together, we can't make out the squish on his style or his calf that is going on with his right or left leg. I don't think we can rank this guy. So Oda unfortunately... You'll stay there at the bottom as well. Civilite Eterna. Can we see your legs? Not really anyone. We can see your ankle here. And again, we can't really see. Your dress is too long. Which is unfortunate. So you will also stay at the bottom. And the last operator to finish all of them. Aroma, aroma, aroma. They tried giving her a squish right here. Look at that. Unfortunate. But the last girl on the list is also just a sticks for legs. This is the final tier list. We have a bunch of kids that we don't talk about. Then we have a bunch of operators that just have sticks for legs. Then we have some shape is always nice. Because those are legs that at the very least have a nice shape to them. Then of course we have the barbecue tier. Where everything that we have here is some very good meat or at or some very nice muscle we have some very muscular operators here in the legendary tier of course we have those operators that just have the very best legs among and all even when comparing to the barbecue those legs are so great that you can't not have them up there where we have the thickest and strongest legs in the entire game. Not a lot of them. And that's the end of the leg tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. And if you don't agree with me, just deal with it.